Well, uh, good morning. Hello. My name is Dopio Dropside, and welcome to another Dopio Dropside stream. <laughs> Some of my voice sounds like that. <laughs> good morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, everyone. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm still a little sleepy. But, 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 at least my headache's gone. Which was kind of weird, actually, the way I got my headache. I was, uh, what was I doing? I was, I was just listening to, like, loud music while vacuuming. <laughs> but my vacuum was really loud today. So I had to make the music even louder. And I didn't get a headache until, like, a little bit later, I think. I think that's what caused my headache, but I don't know. I feel better today. Yeah, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, having such cheerful, positive messages yesterday. Not just in chat, but on Twitter, too. It really, really, really means the world. So thank you so much for, for uh, being patient with me. Auditory overload. I, I, I guess so. I guess so. I don't know, it felt really weird, because, uh, I don't really get headaches that often, so it was a little bit weird. Like, I had to call my mom and be like, Mom, what, what, what do I do for headache? Mom was like, <laughs> drink water. And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea, Mom. <laughs> That's a great idea, Mom. I was like, oh, let's see, I just take Tylenol. Joko, thank you so much, Joko. Five dope field jobs. That membership from Joko. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Joko. Kudina says, good morning, double sub by Theo. Hope your head feels better. Finally can catch you live again. Yeah, thank you, Kudina. We're here and we're live. You, you, thank you. Seven months, you, you. Appreciate it. Spring, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, Spring, yeah. For the... For your... I don't see a message, the heck. I still appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much, Spring Yan. Okay. So, as you guys might have realized, might have seen, uh, yesterday, big announcement. Luigi Sanji. I'm a double senpai now. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to me for now becoming a double senpai. <laughs> this is good morning for you. How do you feel about being a double senpai? Well, you see here. You see here. I think back then, when Crisis came out, I wasn't used to being a senpai yet. I was still used to being the new baby of Niji Sanji. And so, I didn't really know how to be a senpai too much. Other than... Other than... To just be like, yo, if you guys need anything, I'm right here. So always, always feel free to come to Dopio Senpai. Now, it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's lame. <laughs> I, oh, I, um, well, okay, okay, well, it's not lame because it's, it's, it's what you're supposed to do. You're, it's proper manners to say, hey, you can come to me for anything. However... It's lame because I can be like, hey, what's up, Kawhi? Hey, Kawhi. Hey, Kawhi. Can you, can you give me a, can you give me some coffee, Kawhi? And then Kawhi's gonna be like, oh, okay, 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 dope you some, I'll get you some coffee. And I'll be like, <laughs> I didn't even like coffee anyway. <laughs> Mikey Bo says, let's go doubles. Yeah. So basically, 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 I have new fresh meat to bully. And all is right. Did you see? I think, I think it was, I think, I think, I think, oh, which, which one was it? I think it was Victoria, who, 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 who had like that, hello, that waving hello, as her first tweet. And I was like, ha <laughs> scissors cuts paper. <laughs> You're too early. You're too early for this. Hundred years, thousand, ten thousand years too early for this. 
to be dumpy on drop site than rock, paper, scissors. I don't care if it's your first tweet. I don't care if you're nervous. You give me an opportunity to beat you at rock, paper, scissors, you're going down. Davi says, good morning, Pia. Thank you for keeping me company during my last hour and a half of work for today. You're welcome, Davi. Thank you for keeping me some company as well. Ski Dan says, good morning. Pia Senpai, good morning. Yeah. I, no, 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 no. My name is Pio Double Senpai. You know, I, I should, I should, I should make that a rule too. Like, they have to say, they have to always say Dopio Senpai. But like, not just Dopio Senpai, they have to say Dopio Double Senpai. She did the, she, 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 yeah, but I didn't look at it. I, I didn't look at it directly. Like, I saw, I saw like the fingertip and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna look down. I already knew. You can't catch me. Can't catch me. Can't catch me with that. I'm invincible. Diva yeah, says GM, good moogle, dopio. <laughs> Thank you, Diva. That very much is a good moogle. Dopio double senpai, yeah. <laughs> Have you talked to them yet, Dopey? Good question. Good question. Other NK, another NKU says, So glad that your headache's gone, double Dopio Senpai. Dopio Double Senpai. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really feels so much different with a headache and without a headache. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. It feels like my head has less weight on it. It's such a weird feeling. Like, like I'll, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to write notes. So, um, I, I wrote down some notes on, like, a piece of paper uh, on, like, what a headache feels like. Um, just in case that I needed it. I, I didn't really know if I needed it or not. Because, um, you know how, like, headaches have, have, like, different kinds? Like, there are headaches that go behind your eyes, headaches on the top of your head, the back of your head. Headaches that, like, form from your, like, throat. Right? So I was writing down all of this, all of this info just in case I needed it. Right? If I needed to go to like WebMD or something and be like, what do I do for a headache that's at this specific part of my head? Right? And, um, uh, I wrote like one of my notes was like, my head just feels really heavy. <laughs> kind of like, and, 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 and I was laughing because I, I drew a picture and, um, I, I drew my head <laughs> as Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, uh, like 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 that cartoon with the um, boy genius with a huge head. I was like, wow. What if I'm just getting really smart? What if what if my brain is finally catching up with my body, finally having a growth spurt and being really tall? Yeah, I'm big. Likewise, says Pio-chan suits mischievous little bro more than butt. Congrats on becoming Dai Senpai. Please take care of your health, stay safe, and stay happy always, Pio-chan. Thank you. I appreciate those nice words. Likewise. Mischievous little bro. <laughs> I'm the mysterious, mischievous, big bro. He's sweet. Thank you so much. He's sweet for a don't feel job like gift. Appreciate it a lot. He's sweet. Um, and so, uh, Mai says, we have a double D for don't feel job site. Double don't you now? Double dope yo do do yo double senpai. Too many D's. Also, good morning, Delphi. There can never be too many D's. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Never too many D's. Never too many D's. Unless, unless, unless. Oh my god, I just thought of one D. That is too much. Hmm. Hmm. You know. You know. I just realized it. But we, we, we could have had, like, we could have just used throughout the entire time. You, you, oh, oh my god, I just, I just realized it. Oh my god. I, I, th I think that this is the kind of revelation that you can only get after you get a headache. Hey, thank you for the gift. You, you know what? You, you, uh, okay, I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain, I'll explain. What if... What if, 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 what
Dopio, what does D stand for? And I say... <laughs> These... <laughs> These not... Uh, hmm. These... These... These peanuts! Yeah, these peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> these peanuts. Right? That's like, that's like, that's like... Oh my god. Huh. These peanuts. Right? I just realized. I just realized. This whole thing could just be the funniest joke of all time. Hmm. What if, what if, what if I wrote that on my gravestone one day? <laughs> the best final words of all time. Oh my god. I've just been hit with a revelation. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna, we're gonna scrub this from the VOD. Because I'm going to save this for when I really need it. This is gonna be my ace of my sleeve. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> What has happened to you, Dopey? Well, you see, well, you see, I, I slept really late. I slept really late. A bunch of us were talking. And we were just like, yo, <laughs> sleep really late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just woke up, I just woke up, I just woke up. Feel better soon though. I feel better right now, but thank you so much for your concern. It must hurt a lot then. Um and it was it was I don't know if it hurt that much because I took I took Tylenol and it stopped hurting, but it still felt heavy. If that if that makes sense. Like like there was a point where where it stopped hurting, but I just felt like Really, really, really slow. If that if that makes any sense, I, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, I might have, I might have just been like, 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 like it, it was weird. It was weird. Like I, I felt really, really, really sleepy, but I couldn't sleep. If it, it was like, it was like I felt really sleepy without without sleeping. Super weird. Well, Nami Dragon. My goodness gracious! Thank you so much, Nami Dragon. I appreciate it a lot. No message to go with this, but I really appreciate your first ever super chat. <laughs> it's an Aka too. It's red. Are you ready for today? Hope you can catch up on some sleep after. Um, I. You know, it's kind of crazy. Because I still, I, I don't feel sleepy. I feel pretty rested. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 usually I should feel sleepy, but I don't know. It's, it's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> so today's a full day. Today's a full day. Basically what I'm going to do today is that I'm going to stream Slay the Princess. Then I'm going to do some recording work. And then late night. Late night, I'm going to see if we can do Swallow the Sea for a little bit. For a little bit. I think, I think that's kind of like an ace day. A five star day. If you can do, if you can pull off a double stream and some work in the middle of it, it's going to be a five star day. I'm going to say, Dopio, you completely pulled it off. I'll be really happy if I could do that. Jasmine T, thank you so much, Jasmine T. And really said, glad to hear that you've recovered, Pio Chan, though. Maybe because of Scythe's Magic Wars, congrats on being double sent by more fresh meat. Oh, that's actually, that was, that was actually my favorite thing, actually. Thank you so much, Lily. Um, it wasn't just, it wasn't just, um, it wasn't just you guys' like really positive words. It was also, um, so, so w w what made me really happy was like on Twitter, there was a bunch of people, a bunch of sidekicks who uh, use magical spells. <laughs> Like, uh, it's, it's been a little bit of a, of, of, like, my mission on Twitter. To be like, alright. Alright, alright. Does, does someone have a tummy ache? Does someone not feel any well? What if I use a magical spell? 
I, well, it was like the first one. It's like Magical Genie. Spaghetti Linguini. <laughs> Please turn Anna's pain into Teeny Weenie or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, I, I memorized it. I memorized it. See, I'm a magician. I'm, a, I'm an actual mage. So, seeing you guys, um, like reverse, Uno reverse card, the meme back of me, really made me happy. Nami Dragon says, sorry I'm so tired, I forgot to send a message lol. Sleep time for me since I have hospital shift work. Have fun, alright. Take care, Nami Dragon. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity and, well, hope that your hospital shift goes well. Really, really, really rooting for you. The volcano one was great. Oh, you mean the one where I burned Rosemary in like the middle of a volcano? <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Alright. Um, but as much as I'd like to do even more Zatsu. Let's go play Slay the Princess. I know you guys have been waiting for it for over 12 hours now. So, let's get it rolling. Lydia Peng, so much, so much, so much, so much, I have to say. Thank you so much, Lydia. Really, 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 really appreciate it. The L in Lydia stands for luminous, because today is a bright, bright, bright day. Hmm. You know, I should do that for pretty much, I, I should do that for like, for like, you know, for, for super chats. I think that'd be a cool idea. Yeah. Nami Dragon. The N in Nami Dragon stands for... Stands for... Now I should really be practiced with my N's and M's and G's. Stands for... Noble. <laughs> Lydia Peng, member for 8 months. Thank you so much, Lydia! Aimi! Arigato Aimi! Thanks for the hand wave! As if... As if there'd be a different kind of wave. <laughs> Why did I ha specify hand wave? I guess I am still a little bit out of it. Ayumi, but really, 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 thank you, Ayumi. Okay, all right, all right. Let's start, let's start the game. 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 So, so I, I don't really know too much about this game, uh, other than it got updated recently, and there is, uh, well, I, I think that this game is going to be a little bit self-explanatory because. Uh, when I booted up the game, there was this one, like, uh, message. There was, a, like, a message in the game. Uh, like, 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 the warning message. And I felt like it really encapsulated what's going on. EJ Yule. Five dope field jumps and membership gifts. Thank you so much, the T stands for. I'd be lame if it just stood for thank you. I'm gonna say the T stands for treat because I feel a treat. I feel treated. Do 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 do. Content warning. This is a horror game and is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website if you need a full list of content warnings. Slay the Princess contains flickering image effects as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness in players. If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences, which we will do. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. This is a love story! Alright, and so we're going to go into our preferences. Uh... Take off... Bo boil effect. Well, you know, I'll, I'll leave the parallax effect on, boil effect on, boil. What boil? And I'll turn off flickering images. Um. Okay. So let's start it off. Yeah, I guess this is a love story. Chapter one: The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, <gasps> and at the end of that path is a cabin, and oh. in the basement of that cabin. Is a princess. I don't have to do the. Oh, oh, oh! Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm raising up the volume a little bit. All right. So there's narrator. There's a narrator. Awesome. You're here to slay her. If you don't, 
it will be the end of the world. Okay, 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 okay. Since there's a narrator, that means I can be belligerent towards the narrator. Oh! Explore. The end of the world. What are you talking about? Explore. What? Oh my god, there's so many options. What the hell? Have you considered maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Two, three says, Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Four, can't someone else do this? Five, forget it, I'm not doing this. Six says, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Seven says, do I get some kind of reward for doing this? Eight says, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet says, I've always wanted to offer Monarch. Monarch, viva la revolution. Soundly contained to the cabin, turn around and leave. Oh. Oh. Damn, I didn't think that we'd be playing Dungeons and Dragons. There's so many options. Even more options than like Baldur's Gate. It's crazy. Alright, let's say, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. It's all part of the job. Let's be polite to the narrator for now. All right. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. But but this is a love story. It's a love story. Go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. The voice of the hero sounds like the narrator. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Alright, we'll go to the cabin then. The art style for this game is insanely cool, isn't it? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture hmm. around is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Oh, okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Guys, what if we just slay the princess? <laughs> what if we just... What if we just did it? And call it a day. <laughs> All right, let's go to the basement now. Turn the up the audio. The okay, let's see if I can do that. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Wait, let me. This is an oppressive. Let me maybe. Hmm. Yeah, all I can do is this, and then. I this is this is the max that I can make it. I think. Yeah, it's the highest on. Uh, if I can do this. I don't know if I can make it any higher than this. Like, there might be a way, but I'll have to, like, figure things out. But I think so far this is the highest I can make it. Alright. Bruh, I love this game after watching a playthrough of it a few years back. I was so excited when I saw that you were going to play it. If you don't know already, this game is uh, was just like recently updated to like the full game like two days ago. So really interested to see what's going to happen this time. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh, okay. She's voiced. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh... Hi! I think I'm here to kill you! <laughs> what if we're just really polite to everyone? We're, we're going to go to, like, the, uh... We're gonna go through the, um, what do you call it? The, uh... The really please everyone. And be really, and be really, really, really polite. The Mass Effect Power Gun. Character. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Okay! Sounds good to me. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. <laughs> you walk down the stairs. The narrator the narrator didn't like that. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. 
Is she really a threat to the world? Yeah, that's true. If evil, why pretty? Focus on the time. If evil, why hot? You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. <laughs> uh, let's see. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. What? No way! No way! No way! <laughs> no way! That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. It's weird. It feels like the hero has such a character already, though. Let's uh, let's let's drop it. The blade tumbles out of your. <gasps> the narrator sighed. And drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Talk. Against your better judgment. She has such big eyes. Princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Nicole Goodnight says, thank you for playing this game, and thank you for the chat about being so kind about the VA. A lot of love went into this game. Yeah, I can definitely tell. Um, so, you know, I I would classify this game, right, as like a visual novel. But for some reason, the game is 10 gigabytes large. Which is a huge game, especially for a visual novel, right? So I'm really looking forward to seeing, why is the game so big? I feel like this game has a lot of secrets. Yeah, 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 right? It's definitely, it's definitely a visual novel. But 10 gigabytes? Either the game is hugely packed with, like, a lot of content, or there's some really, 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 um... There's, like, a bunch of secrets that need it. So, yeah. Also, the voice work is insanely, insanely, insanely impressive so far. So... Yeah, looking forward to seeing how, um, how extreme, <laughs> for, for lack of a better word, how extreme the, uh, the performances can get. Nicole, good night, you're, you're the VA? Awesome work. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. Explore a relationship where you're coming on to me. How would I get you out of here? I'm mean, here because you're supposed to win the world. There are people out there who think you're gonna end the world. What do you have to say to that? What's your name? <gasps> oh, wait, what if we were there? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, baby. What's your name? <laughs> she hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. A little bit too much, a little bit too much, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's not a real name. Yeah, I don't know if I can trust her, I don't know about that, I don't know about that, I don't know about that. That one was a little bit too smug, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so, hey baby, how long have you been down here? Too long. Too long. I'm too tall. <laughs> Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's being a little bit belligerent. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're apparently gonna end the world. Don't just tell her. Why, why not? Why, why not? Why not? Okay, the narrator. Okay, so I said we were at the. We were going towards the route where, you know, we're gonna be really polite to everyone and make everyone happy. But the narrator seems to hate us. 
The princess doesn't seem to trust us. It's not it's not going well, guys. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. Yeah, her, her face, her face is... I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. How long? Just how long has she been down here? When we asked that, she just said too long. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? <gasps> Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Let's see. Uh, hmm. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Hopefully sooner. All right, thanks, Mom. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would a you? A pal. We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. A pal. Let's see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we can just <laughs> slay the princess. I actually have changed my mind. I don't trust you. <laughs> but that, that's the name of the game. Slay the princess. You could actually do it right now. We just... Somehow we made it to that option. Examine the change. I'll see what I can do. But but we're good now. We're good now. We're good. We're, we're a good boy. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. <laughs> Imagine if that's all they needed. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here <gasps> intended for You her know to what her voice something. reminds me of? They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. You know what her voice reminds me of? I think that I might be a little bit biased because her voice reminds me of my main in uh, League of Legends. Morgana. <laughs> I'm a Morgana main in League. And so I've heard Morgana's voice, like, throughout my entire, like, teenagehood. And so, you know, Morgana's always been my girl. So, you know. I feel a little bit attached. <laughs> it's kind of bad, guys. It's kind of bad. Mary Selly. Thank you so much. Oh, Mary Sale. Selil. Selil. Mary Selil. Appreciate it. Five don't feel jumps. and membership gifts. The M doesn't stand, does not stand for murder today. It might stand for Morgana. So. So, 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 so. I am uh, a little bit attached. Let's see. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? I'm gonna check upstairs, maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. But if not, maybe we can at least find something to break you free. Alright. I'll be here. <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Wait, what? Is someone else here? Wait, what? I'm not the only one here. It's over. Let's see. Try, try the door anyway. We're a big hero. We should be able to beat it up. You try your hair uh, to slay the princess, oops. and you won't leave until the task is done. Let's see. Hey, get me out of here! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. All right. Well. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. But if the narrator's here, why doesn't, the, why doesn't the narrator just do it? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. You know, it's kind of interesting. I feel like it's a very specific choice that the narrator and the hero have the same voice. Maybe the hero and the narrator is just one person, and they're just... And they're just fighting their inner demons. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. 
You won't like what happens if you do that. What am I gonna do? Cut the chain? <laughs> Save the princess. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. We, we didn't even try cutting the chain! We, <laughs> we, I guess we're just a big, huge fan of Saw. You cut into her flesh. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh. The blade is sharp and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Well, you know, maybe she's a big fan of Saw, too. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. All right, Morgana. We have some enemies to slay. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the <gasps> lead. We're... we're controlled! Aw, oh, damn. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Whoa, oh, 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 Warner, 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 Warn! Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. What happened? Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Narimame! Arigato! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the arcade! Ooh. Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive! Uh, resist! The blade. Move. The. Blade. Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. Oh, she's, 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 she's whispering to our ears now. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries <gasps> the blade from your rigid hands. Our hand is turning into like a dragon's hand. Wait, has it always been like that? Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. Did we just lose? <laughs> 10 gigabytes? <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Honestly, I don't know. We, 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 we guys, we, we didn't even get her to smile. Not, not even us being kind and gentlemanly. And a very good boy got her to smile. It's... Was it all worth it? You know, at times like this, I could say... <laughs> It was worth it because I was able to protect her smile. She didn't even smile! I can't even say that! Oh man, oh man. <laughs> man. Why nice guys finished last? <laughs> wait, chapter two, the prisoner. Wait, 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 what? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, huh. Oh, 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 you bastard! You're in for her now! I'm wise, your tricks! <laughs> okay, you know what? I think, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna, like, uh, what's the word? We're gonna stick to our guns! And we're gonna be a gentleman until we get her to smile. <laughs> My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his <laughs> There's got to be a way out of here. The last time the princess. We just have to keep trying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a new character, the skeptic. Hello. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. 
If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. Man. He's talking to himself just like I do. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. <gasps> what? And as far as trying huh. to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. We're going to unlock new voices like we unlock new Smash Brothers characters. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> the narrator. For <laughs> I, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if um, during the scripting process and uh, the recording process, if their narrator had to, um, like, switch voices every time there's, like, a new line. Or if they did every, um, every character first. Like, those, those are, like, two ways that you can do it. You can either do, do like, um, re read it through and change your voice with everyone. With, with, like, each and every line. Or you do each character, each character while you're in that space. Um, either way, though, really impressive. Let's see. Explore. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all of this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Vanta Crow! Questions, but fine. I'll indulge Vanta Crow brings his team over. Speaking of Smash Bros. Hello, Punch Brother! Vanta Crow. Kaka! The Vanta Crew lands in. Hey, Vanta, what's up? <laughs> Hope that things have been well, Vanta. Hope that things have been well, Vanta. The V in Vanta stands for voice work. Hello, Punch Brother. Hope you like this game. It looks cool. Yeah! Hope that you do, too. You know, Vanta, 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 Vanta. I've been, I've been, I've been secretly, I've been secretly keeping up with your Animal Crossing shenanigans, Vanta. I'm really looking forward, Vanta, to when you get the biggest. Hmm, wait, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll forget. I'll. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't talk too much about Animal Crossing spoilers. Delina says, "Kaka, thank you." Yo, Chan, lurking. Oh uh, well, it's kind of like you, I see it on Twitter a lot, and Vanta's like. Vanta had like the funniest tweet. It, this this one made me laugh so much because he said he said he said, guys, I'm so sorry. Well, well, he was like away from uh, from streaming. He says, guys, I'm so sorry. My shop updated. <laughs> I got a new shop. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to stop it in time. <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry. He was like, I could, I could hear, like, the profuse crying in his voice while he wrote that sentence. Showing off his new Timmy and Tommy's Nook's Cranny and being like, I hate this! <laughs> this is the worst day of my life! <laughs> it made me laugh so much. Louis Daniel Town says, hi, Pio-chan. One more, let's go. Thank you! Yeah, he got a new shop without us. I know. I know, I know. It was horrible, I know, Vanta, I know. There, there. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> but, but like I said, I thought it was like the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Just imagining Vanta crying at the doorstep of Timmy and Tommy's and being like... I can't believe it, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> anyway, looking forward to uh, more updates. From your local crow. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Thank you, Eunice. The art for this game looks so pretty. Yeah! 100%. It's really probably the thing that caught my eye the most. Oh, so to all the Vanta crew, this game is called Slay the Princess. And um, so far, we've been really belligerent. We just started, but we chose not to slay the princess and instead. What happened was that the narrator was like, You know what, hero? You know what, Dopey? I don't like that. I'm going to take control of your body and kill the princess. Make you kill the princess myself. We resisted. We resisted as hard as we could. And the princess, well, she took the knife and she cut our throat open. But, 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 I guess that we're looping. 
and we're still hating the narrator because we're uh we're gonna get that princess to smile we don't care how long it takes how many times we die we're gonna do it to protect her smile <laughs> thank you i hope you have a great team thank you vanta talk to you soon vanta Cielo with 10 Dopion Chomps and membership gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cielo. The C stands for... Hmm, that's a good C word. Charitable. Appreciate your charitable personality, Cielo. Alright. So, let's continue. Did she smile? No, she did not smile. She did not smile. Even though we said we would protect her smile, she killed us. She did not smile. It was, uh... She's free... She killed us, she did not smile. But hopefully this time around she'll smile. Really hoping for it. The D stands for dashingly deviant, defiant. You got it, thank you, Elena. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. The absolute irony. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> I know, I know, I know Fuchan's playing this game right now as well, but the voice of the skeptic reminds me so much of Fuchan. I'm gonna imagine that the voice of the skeptic is Fuchan. Fuchan's in my head. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do, which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self delusions the three of you are crafting. The three of us? Wait, there's three of us now? But this is Wait, thought, four of us. So I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional, after all. Professional? You're being paid to do this? Sure you are. Anyway. I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> he, he did the SpongeBob meme. I know. This assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I don't know. Hitting me with a SpongeBob meme doesn't sound very professional. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario. That begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Oh, that's true, I guess. I didn't think about it like that. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. <laughs> That's <true. laughs> This is... That's... I, I don't know, for some reason this one looks funny to me. <laughs> the princess just is just chill. <laughs> How I wish that were the case, but if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. Four of us? We're an entire party. You're talking in circles. But who's the fourth one? Is the fourth one supposed to be me? No, I'm talking like me, me. Alright, let's 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 just proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. He just said wink out loud. You're not supposed to do that. Did you just say wink out loud? That's exactly what I said. No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> it's for time. It's for time. It's vulgar. It's it's one hundred percent vulgar. Just ignore this. It's one hundred percent vulgar. The princess. This silly man is vulgar. <laughs> Just ignore this clink. Hey, don't talk about vulgar like that. <laughs> don't talk about vulgar like that. 
The interior what of the, the hell? is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A huh. few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade <gasps> perched on its edge. We can look in the mirror, maybe. I want to see what we look like. What if we're a dragon? Like in Skyrim. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Argonian. Let's see. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. But that's a mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. What the hell? Okay, so so our arm is still very, very much Argonian. That wasn't the princess's doing. That wasn't the narrator's, narrator's powers doing. I think that the mind control's powers. Hmm. But there was a mirror a second ago. Interesting. And now it's gone. Invisible. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. But the skeptic side. Let's see, this whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. Yes, but why? Did he change it, or did it change all on its own? Maybe it's a different cabin entirely. Capital H for he. Though the narrator is supposed to be the god in this game. Now isn't that a novel thought? Maybe you haven't actually been here before. I hope this means you'll finally drop your ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. I don't know, this feels very mysterious. So focus up. Don't get distracted by minor details. I'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Enter the basement. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. If we did not have the blade last the time, the would we have been able to? Revealing an old stone staircase. Would we have been able to like? torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path. Dance cut her hand off. Glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Oh. She doesn't remember us. Does she remember us? <laughs> oh my god. It's, <laughs> it's reading my brain. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes oh. with the princess. She looks up at you, oh. the heavy collar around her neck cranking <laughs> loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic cords wow. as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Huh. Hmm. So we won't be able to cut off her head and save her, though. That seems probably the, uh... Hmm. So much for cutting her out of here. Yeah. Yeah, then that's exactly what I said! Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Well, it was on the table, the iron table upstairs. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. That's what I was thinking too. That was there last time too, wasn't it? It was. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Okay, so she only sees so she only sees one of us. Even though the narrator says that there's four of us, she only says that there's two of us. Oh my god, I I think that this game really is. We have to pay attention. I I feel my detective brain coming on. Let's see, I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just going to leave her here. Leave the princess in the basement. Sit with her. I will sit with her. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, 
holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Oh, okay. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Alright, sit sit where you were told to sit. Alright, alright, we're, we're going to be very uh, on the princess's side, I guess. Yes, ma'am. We will sit right here, ma'am. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. <laughs> Still a good distance away from her. The, uh, the sitting effect was funny. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Let's see. My intentions, what do you mean? I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? I had the chain on the wall. What was it for? What would you have me do? I think we're just gonna leave, actually. You're not much of a threat to anyone locked up like that. Bye! <laughs> so you can either slay the princess, you can either help the princess, or you can actually just be really annoying to everyone and just not do anything. Uh, let's, let's ask... Let's ask the obvious. Am I the only one who remembers being here before? Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Okay, so she does remember. Okay, that, that's not what I was expecting. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. The narrator doesn't know. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. The narrator sounded really surprised. Complicated things. It's complicated things. How exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. What if? What if? What if? What if? Since we're a dragon, right? What if we're like King Ghidorah from Godzilla, and we're just like a three-headed dragon, and the dragon heads are like talking to each other? The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. I'm, 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 I'm reading too much into it. I've got Zilla on the brain. A contingency for what? The narrator is misinformed? Hmm. You know, maybe, maybe the other idea is that every time the narrator messes up, the world ends. And so there's like a new narrator each time. For you failing, obviously. You being him, but then maybe they get like a different VA for that to to drive you that point across. Else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just good luck. Now hold on. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. Oh, come on. I get it. Oh. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. All right? Hmm. I, I, uh, hmm. Okay. So the narrator, I don't know. So, so the narrator referred to us as he, and the only time we ever saw another he was when they talked about the narrator as well. I think that might be a good hint. Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is getting really mysterious. I won't. But the skeptic is really, really, really is stuck in his ways, too. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. 
Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. And she doesn't... So so she doesn't hear the narrator's voice at all. And she doesn't even hear us when we speak out loud then, too. So this is definitely in our head. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. So it was instant then. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really mm. doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck mm. in this room without any idea why mm. or how. Let's see. Uh, that other chain on the wall, who is it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Is she, is she, is she inviting us? <laughs> Maybe it'll fit. She smiles! Wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, alright. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could just be a jokester and get her to smile. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! She smiled! She smiled! Alright. Alright, princess. In order to protect your smile, I'm going to put on these chains and bark like a dog. <laughs> I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. <laughs> let's do it! Alright, inspect the shackle. Yo, let's do it. it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. And why is that? <laughs> the skeptic, huh? You don't want me to bark like a dog, do you, narrator man? <laughs> do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. Oh wait, it's going around the wrist? Oh, for, for some reason I am automatically thought it was going to go around our neck. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He again, Capital. He isn't. I am. Inspect the shackle. Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? The music stopped. Yes, it's bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Oh! Oh, whoa! <laughs> and, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Another chain pops up. Um... Wait, no. Excuse me? Yes? Are we stuck here now? Yes. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. <laughs> and, but, but is it ha ha funny? What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch? No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Did you know that this was gonna happen to me? <clears throat> no, she's not. She's she, she's not gonna say anything to that. Alexia says, "What a funny game to celebrate seven months of PO10 and psychics with." Yeah, we're using our brains. We're using our thinking brains. Thank you, Alexia. Appreciate it. Remember for seven months. 
All right, what should we do? Wait, I guess. Maybe something else will happen. Maybe not. To be fair, if I was just if I was just made to just like sit for a long time, I I get I I feel like I would have the same personality as she does. So we're stuck here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Uh did you know this was gonna happen to me? No. No. Try asking again later. <laughs> Kinda reminded me of the um um, Spongebob episode with a magical conch shell. Nope. That's rude. You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. Huh. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold. And so at least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. What about me? Am I harmed? How exactly does that work? It just does. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of evil. <laughs> and after that, even more time passes again. You know, this narrator sounds like sounds like someone. What's it called? Like like the dungeon master in like a Dungeons and Dragons game. Like when the narrator wants you to do something, but you clearly, clearly, clearly ignore what they say, and uh. <laughs> they, they're really, really, really angry that you don't get it. That you're not progressing through the game. That's us. <laughs> That's us. I so I feel so bad for Aya. The last time that we were playing uh, our Dungeons and Dragons stuff, because I think that the last time we played, and the other time that we played, we completely derailed everything. <laughs> Luckily, I has patience. This narrator does not. Let me guess. The cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. You know, it's fun. Yeah, it really was fun. I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger and larger. But that's just the way time works. Hey, have you noticed the basement changing? I don't like small talk, remember? Still rude. I don't know. Hmm. She liked this more when we were standing up. to wait in silence and the cabin continues to change. The decay mm. comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework. Can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. What's that? Even more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass, until suddenly, there are no walls. And then... And? So we're free! We're just chained. I think he's gone. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. Okay. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Okay? That's not that's not what I thought would happen.
That's that's not what it not what happened either. But you, you but you don't the narrator's voice is gone. But you don't get the chance to respond. I'm the narrator now! Something has taken her away. And it's left something else in her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? What's this hair texture? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? See, I don't know where she went and I don't know what... I don't know how we even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. He is? Does that mean the world ended? Am I a voice now? It must have. Do any of us know what the world ending is supposed to look like? Ah, uh, let's see. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. So the hero is saying, is talking to us as if we were another character. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Well, you know. You guys might be cowards, but I'm really tall. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Ike Evelyn! It was Ike Evelyn this whole time! It was Ike Evelyn! <laughs> it was Ike Evelyn. Inside of the mirror was Ike Evelyn. Ike Raid! Thank you, Ike and Quildren. Ike and Quildren, we are playing this game called Slay the Princess. It was me this whole time. <laughs> Ike Ike Afton, it was me. So, 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 so. To catch you guys up to speed, Slay the Princess is this visual novel -y game where, where, um, we're supposed to be forced to slay the princess. However, we've been really belligerent about it. The narrator says, Don't be able kill the princess. Don't be able kill the princess. Don't be able kill the princess. And we're, as gentlemen should be, we're like, You know what? Let's not slay the princess. Let's be really, really, really polite. Let's be good boys. And the world ended. <laughs> and the world ended. And it's not looking good for us. However, we still have our morals. Oh yeah, and we became a dog. <laughs> Did we become a dog? <laughs> good boy, Dovey. Thank you. Appreciate that. Be a good boy and bark for the princess. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We put a chain around their neck and we started barking for the princess because she we, we thought that she might have needed a pet dog. Um, but instead she just ignored us. But, you know, we're we're, we're just like just like Subaru. For Amelia, we're gonna keep protecting her smile. <laughs> no matter what. Alley Cat, thank you so much, Alley Cat, for the gift. What do you mean it was just me? No. No, we all barked. I saw you guys bark in chat too. It's you. We're Deadpool! You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Oh, also, there was a narrator, and the narrator has a voice, and the narrator was really, really, really wanting us to, uh, to slay the princess. But the narrator's gone now. The narrator himself died. And now I'm the narrator. So, yeah. What the hell is this? Ooh. It's like I can feel through the hair. Okay, proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Oh, we time looped again. And there's a princess. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. 
Uh, turn that frown upside down. I'm here. Joko, thank you so much, Joko. For five! Don't feel jumps and membership gaps. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. The C stands for... Clamp your hands together. Because it's getting scary. What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there! <laughs> Do you know the narrator? <laughs> are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the world beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Hey, hey baby. Do we know each other? You look familiar. You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Oh, also, 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 this game had like a disclaimer and the disclaimer said, this is a love story. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? <gasps> That's true. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? A solitary lights in an empty city. What am I? Oh, I am, I am, I am the night sky on a rainy day. <laughs> I am the moon that reflects upon the earth. <laughs> I am the shadows that loom through alleyways. <laughs> 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 what do you mean cringe? Hey, hey, you can't call me cringe. Convini, thank you, eight months, Convini. I'm a purse. <laughs> Solitary lights, what do you mean? What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I'm a person. <laughs> Solitary lights, what, what do you mean? Thoughts without connection. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. <gasps> She's Siri from iPhone. Let's see. I'm a person. A person. A set of eyes witnessing from one perspective. I think that you are more like me than you are like a person. I am Darkwing Duck. Why are you guys saying Darkwing Duck? <laughs> am I a Darkwing Duck? We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. We are lava, hot and fiery like hot pockets. Let's see. Uh, are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always a princess? Or are you just making her a part of yourself? I don't even know what that means. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Let's see. Uh, the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Huh. Maybe this is a battle of gods trying to take power over the world, and this is a different one. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. Wait. So is this the host or like a spirit embodying the princess? Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. You do not mourn her. Let her out of there! I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. It was getting crazy. I have no idea what's going on. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Oh, okay, that's good. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Aw, that's romantic. 
The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Let's see. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here. And I too yearn to be free. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make huh? you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Do we... do we need to forget? Perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Bring me more perspectives. So are we supposed to unlock every single ending in the game? So kind of like kind of like a needy streamer overload. Oh wait, we get we get even we get even more. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? And what if I don't let you do this to me? And I'll send to slay the princess to stop for destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to is that what you're going to do? And okay, make me forget. Okay, H how many more pieces of you do I need to find? Thank you, Toast, member for a month. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Toast. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Okay, so she's saying there's a lot of endings in this game. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Oh, okay. Uh, how much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Okay. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Like an empty hot pocket. See, I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. <laughs> so, hot pockets. I, I don't know, maybe it got really nostalgic. So, the last time I ate a hot pocket must have been like at least a decade ago. But I remember when I was, um, when I was like going to school. And stuff. Uh, like, for high school. For high school. Or maybe it wasn't even... Or maybe it was even, like, in middle school. Like, I would... I would... I would eat a Hot Pocket for breakfast. <laughs> and I would even... So, so I... I would, I would get two Hot Pockets. And I would eat the first one for breakfast. And I would... Kind of, like, wrap another Hot Pocket... In, like... In, like, um... Paper towels. And I would keep a hot pocket inside of my jacket. And so what I would do is that in class, um, every time I got, I felt peckish, I would pull out the hot pocket from my jacket and start munching on the hot pocket and put it back in my jacket. <laughs> so for some reason, I completely forgot that I did that until, until I met her. Somehow, looking at her and seeing all of her hands reminded me of all of those kids who said, Can I have a bite, Dopey? Can I have a bite of your hot pocket? And sometimes, and sometimes, if it was a buddy, I'd be like, Alright, we can cut this hot pocket in two. And I would snap the hot pocket in half. But no matter what I did, there would never be enough hot pockets for everyone. I could have half, I could have half a hot pocket, but then I'd be hungry for the rest of lunch. Or, if I was feeling really generous, I could cut a hot pocket into half and share it amongst two people. But then not everyone in the class would have a hot pocket. So, in that case, the hot pocket represented hope. But also, the absence of the hot pocket represented despair. Just like this game now. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? 
the, the dramatic VGM made your story better. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. I even made a deal with this guy. I said, "Hey, I remember. I remember. I remember." This guy was like. Dopey, I'm really hungry. Can I have a hot pocket? And I was like, you know what? I'll give you a hot pocket. But I was like, but you know, if you ever, 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 ever grow up and become a billionaire of a giant company, you owe me a job. And he was like, all right, Dopey, you can be, all right, Dopey. <laughs> now, the chances of him ever becoming a billionaire it's like really, really, really low. However, <laughs> however, he has signed a contract with me. He has signed a contract with a hot pocket demon. <laughs> a hot pocket for a job, for a potential job in the future if he ever becomes a CEO. Exactly, so. Exactly. So, you know, just like that, the hot pocket represents hope. No matter what happens. There will always be a small modicum of hope because of that single hot pocket. So maybe, even if a hot pocket is empty, my stomach felt despair that day. It gave birth to a potentially infinite hope. Just like this game. <laughs> I never knew a hot pocket is this deep. Well, it's about six inches deep. Let's see. I'm not going back. Wait. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. I, 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 so, 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 are you saying that we're, that we're dating? <laughs> wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Oh, she's 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 tired of our company. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Just like a microwave. <laughs> Just like a microwave. <laughs> Dopey, you know what? Fair point. I might be thinking of breakfast. That's really sweet. You know what? If I had a hot pocket, I'd share it with you. She she just closed my game. Hey, hey, ah, oh, oh man. She she kicked me out. She kicked me out of my own damn game. Hey, hey, hey. To me, though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Oh. My mom, my mom just texted me on the phone. She says, Don't be, you may like this short horror game called Don't Scream. It releases on October 27. Thanks. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I didn't know my mom could have. <laughs> anyway. Though you were gone, more mere, mere moments, I never left your side. You kicked me out! Pio, that game looks really good. Oh, really? Interesting. No, I don't want to forget. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Oh. Wait, is it just me? Wait. I'm gonna do this. Was that? Was that? Oh, no. There's no way you would have been able to see it. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to duck for a second. Just a second. Do you see this, like, white line? The hell is a white line? It's the number one. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. 
Okay. Chapter 1. We're back to Chapter 1! You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. I, I just got an achievement that just... Of that cabin is a princess. I just got an, an achievement that says, The real Slay the Princess starts now. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, so the white line is gone. Let's see. Uh, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that? Okay, so... Hmm. So, so we're back to our old options. Oh, and the white line. The white line is is just... It's just the, uh, the scroll wheel. Okay. <laughs> So what if we just turn around and leave? You know what? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? No, but anything's better than here. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin, I'll slay the princess. Ugh! Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin, maybe I'll talk to the princess. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Or, la, yes, I definitely know where I'm going. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Or I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. Hmm. Okay, what if we what if we just don't talk and leave the narrator in the dark? Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. What if we don't have a voice? What happens? Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Never mind, the hero Better speaks to anyway. Of this whole situation than to take part in it. You don't trust him at all? I'm I'm the same way, I don't trust anybody. Ignore that annoying little voice. Except for the princess, I trust the princess. About. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. I don't trust that. Turn around again and leave again. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. That won't stop me. Let's see. Quietly. Let's see. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for it. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna pick this one because it's it's really loud. I mean, it, because it's, you know, it's not silent. It's breaking my silent character. But, it's, it's super bolded. <laughs> That's the most bolded I've ever seen a font do ever. That's like the most bold. I've ever seen a font go. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. No, no, no. We're, we're emo right now. We're emo. And we don't care. Last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. I don't now, know. I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself universe is capitalized. Is to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Universe is capitalized. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, f well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. I mean, Chad doesn't think that it's the wrong choice, right? And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar Oh, music is getting funky. <laughs> But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick. What the hell? Huh? In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. 
an infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Guys! Guys! This is the best! Without even thinking about it, we just made an entire city. And it's a city on here. Guys! We just made San Francisco! Guys! We just accidentally invented San Oh my god! Guys, 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 Yo, where is San Francisco? Let's go! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. I've always wanted to go to San Francisco. I've never been. You know, San Francisco. That that's where Monk is. That's where Adrian Monk is. Guys, we're in San Francisco. Holy sh! Oh my god. Wait, what's going on? This is this is awesome. We're in an all expense paid trip to San Francisco. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Let, let's go Giants! Uh, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do, otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. In San Francisco? <laughs> wait, I <wait>, know. <laughs> Chapter 2, The Stranger. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the Who mentioned Alcatraz? Look what you did! Look what you did, Alcatraz! Oh man, we really are an Alcatraz. Oh damn, not the wall. Oh man. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Those walls aren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Let him! If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know, I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. Oh no, voice- Oh no, it's dope here. Oh no, it's dope here. We have dope here in our head now. Oh, damn it. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. Oh, we are dope. Oh, dude. We had food time. Oh, we have dope. Oh, man. Oh, God. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty yeah, of Yeah, it's, 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 off. yeah. Contrary. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's contrary, guy. The world really did end last time. Oh, didn't great. It? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Oh no. <laughs> the world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task. Pathetic! Little! Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You, you just made the worst mistake of your life, narrator. Calling the don't be a voice pathetic and then it's over. He's, he's... Big. And... Regularly thetic. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, no. What does that even mean? <laughs> let's see. Uh, lie. Uh, if I can't run away from the cabin, I'm just staying here in the woods forever. Stay in the woods forever. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows. What <laughs> it's the same damn line. Oh, God. <laughs> don't feel. Come on, you have more content than that. You might have walled off everything but the path. <laughs> don't feel. Ruining my day. <laughs> don't feel. Really did at last. The world hasn't ended yet. <laughs> don't feel. He just. It's the same damn line. Don't feel. <laughs> All right, oh, we're gonna stay in the woods forever. Oh, that's clever. A little boring, though. It's extremely boring. Can we really do that? 
Can we really just do nothing? No, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Oh yeah? But this is annoying, so it's working. Alright, so it's decided. Even if it's boring, we're going to do nothing. Forever. Hell yeah! Let's go do it, yeah. Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? <gasps> what is that weird feeling? Oh, so every time we do nothing, we might we might visit Hand Princess. Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? Oh man, it's over for Dopia voice. The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You'll find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds, undulated undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. Yeah, hey, oh. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Oh, we're getting hugs! Infusion, why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration, this vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing you against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something anew. A wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. Our own salvation. <laughs> Thank you, wagging finger. Denial. You're on a path. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead and we're gonna go back to the uh uh let's see. Wait. Wait, wait a minute, we can't do the... The, the walk in the other direction, it's Gonzo. I can't, I can't do it again. I can't go back to just walking in another direction. What the hell? Uh, alright. Alright, let's, let's try. Sweet, I've always wanted to walk a monarch. Viva la revolution! Okay, let's, let's do, let's do the, hey, I'm... Let's, let's, let's be so into the story. So into killing the princess, we're gonna creep out the narrator. That's the spirit. The narrator's really happy. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go. No, 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 no. Proceed into the cabin. Is the cabin any different? The interior of the cabin no, it's the same. The no, 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 no. Take the blade, all right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I right, enter the basement. Here we go. The door to the basement creaks over right. her voice. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. Who's there, who's there, who's there? Hi! <laughs> Just, hi! <laughs> Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Come on down. You walk down the oh, stairs just one. And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Interesting. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Nah, nah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh. <laughs> no, no, uh. Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust. <laughs> no, uh. <laughs> Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do <laughs> yeah. after we talk to The hell you we mean, uh. Monster, <laughs> killing someone in cold blood isn't very b Drop it. The blade tumbles out. Thank you. Maybe now we can just against your better Awkward relationship. Uh let's see. 
pretty awkward. Our relationship. <gasps> Our relationship are you coming on to me? Okay, okay, okay. I thought that we had the same answers as before, but we have the different one. <gasps> are you coming on to me? A relationship. Hey, you wanna Yeah. Relationship time. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. That's a start! Let's see. Uh, a relationship, huh? Oh, hey, hey, what's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as uh, well. Sa no same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Uh, how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure uh, of it. Let's see. Uh... Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? Oh, uh, the same thing. Uh... You're apparently gonna end the world. Just tell her that. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Just how long has she been to- If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? I trust you. Aw, she smiles a little bit, she smiles a little bit. She smiles a little bit. Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? Let's see. figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Now slay the princess! Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Ah. Of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. D d j jaw? It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurt! Oh, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oof. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. How am I supposed to beat a princess if her strength is at 99? Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Oh my god. We can still turn this around. Let's see. Fully in locker in the basement. Are you serious? <laughs> it's a good idea. We've taken some bad hits, but we've dealt some too. She has to be feeling it more than we are. Let's regroup upstairs. If we're lucky, maybe she'll just bleed out. Fine. You make a mad dash to the basement stairs. The princess's chains rattling as she tries to chase you, but pulling taut much <laughs> to catch up. This is this is really the nuh uh ending. <laughs> we do something, be like, nuh uh. <laughs> we never go through with anything. <laughs> do you really think you can just walk out of here? Yes. She steps towards you, ignoring her chains. Oh no, 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 don't tell me she's gonna say nuh uh. Oh my god, she says no uh Finally they break. What? The links clatter to the Help! 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 She said no uh She's free. Hurry. You push your broken body as she closes in and just barely manage to pass the threshold of the basement doorway before she catches up to you. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly back <laughs> yeah. the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Let's go! Oh, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cursor, and the cursor has, uh, what well, was- the cursor was a blade. Now the blade has blood on it. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound, and we have all the time in the world. Playing Jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't What the hell's come. going on? Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Alright. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my... Good side. You know what? I think she has a point. She sounds... 
terrifying. Like she's less of a princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. It's getting louder. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made to me. Aw, no, I just wanted to say that. Aw, oh, man. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Let's see, threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Or ignore her and go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just ASMR to my ears. Good night. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't. Nah, I've gone wrong. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. You know what? It's not broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Maybe we should have gone back into the woods. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. Oh, you're welcome. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. Oh my god. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, oh. unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Narrator, help me! So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Well, 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 if it, if, if it protects your smile. <laughs> she steps closer. Oh god, that's one creepy. One footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. <laughs> Foot. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Are we a fish? What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2, The Nightmare You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. All right. If you don't, the hell's going it on? will be the end of the world. <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but she's gonna kill me again. <laughs> yeah. People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Yoshida, 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 arigato, Yoshida. Thank you so much, Yoshida, for five Jopio job site Membership gifts. The Y in Yoshida stands for YO! We're not gonna die another time, right? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Paranoid, paranoid voice! Okay, who's paranoid? Who's, who's like, the, who's the most paranoid person that I know? Mm hmm. Who was paranoid? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> Wilson is Wilson paranoid? <laughs> there. Hmm. Looks like you guys know a lot of paranoid people. I think you'll find yourselves. Alright, yeah, you know, let's, let's make it fair. Vare does seem a little bit paranoid. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Alright. Let's assume telling the truth, and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Now let's just go to the cabin. 
It's time for round two. Warning. Before you, she will lie. I don't think it doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Now we're gonna go into the cabin. Did we lose the skeptic and the contrarian? Yeah, we did. We did, we did, we definitely did. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner what the of the hell? room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Look 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 at the look at the windows. Look at the windows. The mirror's here too, but look at the windows. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits. And only you can do it. All right. Uh. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's so we try it again. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It go away. Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating. If he wants it hidden so bad. That's a good point, paranoid voice. Let's... Do we take the blade? Let's... Let's take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. <laughs> Let's see what your steel has to say. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know. Better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> okay. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Alright, let's enter the basement. You cross over the threshold. Oh, what the and hell? A of isolated steps. What so the hell? Steps. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. Okay, the paranoid voice got the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Let's see. Explore, how hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Anonary seems to think I can do it. I don't know why we're all being such pessimists right now. <laughs> or step off into the void between the stairs. That's also a really interesting option. I'm gonna talk to her. Didn't you hear my warning a minute ago? <laughs> she can't be trusted. Talking won't do you any good. Something tells me she isn't gonna be very keen on talking anyway. Let's just talk to her. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself what the two hell is going on? Planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. <sighs> Very interesting. Hmm. I don't think that this is the narrator's power. The narrator's power seems... I mean, both the princess and the narrator seem to have world-shaping powers. And I think that this is the princess's world-shaping powers now. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. 
Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. I'm the voice of reason. I'm Excuse reasonable. Me. I'm being incredibly That's what I'm reasonable. saying. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Uh, so on the right, there are some eyes. On the left, it goes to a board. So I think that's a dead end. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Gonna find me. Oh, I hope. Oh. I hope I'm looking handsome today. Let's see. Let's go left, go right, do nothing, go back the way you came. Let's go right. Right is right. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. Ah, oh, shoot. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Oh, I'm glad she thinks it's cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of oh your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. That's such a cool effect. That's such a cool effect. I'm stealing that. I'm, I'm, I'm stealing that. Next time I make a drama CD, I'm stealing that. Yeah, next drama CD I'm doing, I'm gonna steal that. That's so cool. Heads, shoulders, yeah. Heads, shoulders, knees. Toes. <laughs> that's that's the most belligerent thing I've heard today. Heads, shoulders, knees, toes. <laughs> what are you doing? Heads, shoulders. I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want? Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. What did it say? Uh, what are you doing? And then the experience stops once more as your body approaches death. Okay. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Again, your eyes shoot open as you So die. sick, actually. That's actually so sick. Heads. Shoulders. Knees. Toes. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter, she's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her, and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you, alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I just can't let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ-shutting-down situation? How about I kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try to kill you. So do your worst. Toss your blade and remain with your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. <laughs> fine, you win. I'll let you leave. <laughs> it's fine. Fine, you win. <laughs> we, we don't have to be enemies. We can be friends. Would you look at that? You're suggesting exactly what I want. Somebody's ahead of the curve. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then, well... You died before I could get to the door. 
and then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have better plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Ah, uh, interesting. And, and if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Oh no, definitely not. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Alright, so, so that, so that, that either means we're, we're, we're husband or pet. Uh, we're, we're either husband or pet. Don't worry, I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Leading towards pet. Let's see. If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Let's see. Uh. And what if I refuse to let you out? What happens then? then we're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No! Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Only oh, until your heart finally gives out. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. Which I can hear her breathing. Heart, lungs, and then, when you die, oh, that was sick. somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. All right, I, I feel like we're not gonna have much, many choices. Okay, but we're gonna save because I just realized we can save. Slay! Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks. <laughs> Dummy. We did it. We actually did it. Nerves, heart, lungs, <laughs> You actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs, liver. You know, you know, maybe, maybe if I do this, the narrator will be like, you know what, Dopio. Nails, hair, hips, heels. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we should just style on her. I was gonna suggest maybe the narrator is going to give us like a giant blade, sort of like, sort of like what Guts has in Berserk. But you know what? You're right. You're right. Nails, hair, hips, heels. You know what? I think that if we style on her and show her that she's not the queen in Fashion Week, I think. I think <laughs> that she'll just leave us alone. We'll be the new princess now. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Nerves. Ooh, dummy. Oh, I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Forever. No! What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. This is, this is, this is unconvenient. and I hate this. Time passes. Forever's gonna... End eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? 
Wait, what? So, so we need... Wait, is that what the narrator wants? We need... The narrator needs the princess to die and us to live. Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right, I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Uh, let's see. It's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask her. You guys, what more do I need? Am I not a creature of biology? When I start now, nah, I don't forget that one. Uh... Hmm. The first again? one. Again? That's... That's unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Mm. I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. At this point, I think that this one's like the seventh one. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I like the... <laughs> well, I, I guess the hero really wants... <laughs> really emotive, then. You bastard! <laughs> Plenty, but it's all in your best interest. And the world's, and mine. She's dead, and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? Hey, Miss Serene, thank you so much! Appreciate it! So, this kind of reminds me so, one of my mom's favorite, like, uh, TV shows. Um. Is this one show called like the Great British Break Baking Show? Great British Baking Show, and in it, it's basically like a cooking competition. But whereas sometimes in a lot of cooking competitions it gets really intense, and people will curse a lot, the Great British Baking Show everyone's polite. <laughs> it's kind of it kind of reminds me of this a little bit. Oh, was it Great British Bake Off? Oh, I thought it was Baking Show. Either way, either way, like, it's really funny because everyone's polite, even if things, like, go go wrong. E and even though it's a competition, everybody's really supportive of each other. Yeah, and yeah, they always help each other out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really, it's really wholesome, right? It's like one of the most wholesome competition things I've ever seen in my life. And, um, like, this, this, uh, this narrator, you know, I know the narrator has a British accent, I think. But, even still, the, the politeness of the narrator is really funny. <laughs> he, it's, it's like he can't even say- he can't even bring himself to say, You bastard! It's like, you bastard. I can't believe you did <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. It's so different from American cooking competitions? Yeah. There's, there's way less drama. It just can. Look. This world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Uh, can you tell me your secrets now? No. Aw. How about now? Is it secret time? Still no. I'm gonna wear you down eventually. Might as well spill those sweet secrets now. There has to be something else we can talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. I can feel it. Yeah, let's be belligerent. Not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. Secret? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. Secret? The narrator continues to ignore you. But I, I've got the best company I could ask for you guys. What else more do I need? Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Uh, w won't I starve? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're in right. it. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. 
We're in it to win it. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Are, are you stuck here with us or are you capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. Secret? I get it, you don't want us to die because you'd be lonely, how sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. Let's see, take the blade from her body. Wait, no, 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 no. I, I feel like if we take it out, she's gonna come back to life. Wait. More time passes. You're still here. Wait. More time. More. 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 Mo 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 Oops. Uh, uh save here. Save here. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. What sound does the cow make? Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, what's the, what's the name of my favorite, uh, favorite minion from Bowser, you know, like, I, I think it's like Lenny, Iggy, more time, more, more time, more time, more time, more time, Morton, it was, it was Morton, more time, more time, more time, okay, wait, 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 wait what's that name of the Dr. Seuss book? The the guy who hears a who. More time. It was Horton. Horton. <laughs> Take the sound. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? <laughs> what is speech in Japanese, Mo? <laughs> yeah. More time. Yeah. More more. <laughs> what is speech in Japanese? More more. <laughs> Let's see. Throw the blade into the void. No, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. <laughs> oh, I really oh. stuck here forever. No oh, way what are you doing? Oh, man. You mean other than starving? Right, I mean other than that. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time, but that doesn't stop it from passing, nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. What does that mean? The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. <gasps> oh. No, you really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. So does that matter then? Because like, I guess we die either way. Forever gets the chance to come. Everything goes dark, and you die. don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. What does that mean? So chapter three. You're on a path in the wood. What? Okay, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna load up just just in case. What happens if we slay ourselves? I don't like this, but I suppose you raise the blade to Here we go. You'd better get this right next time. Everything goes dark. You're okay, so either way, either way, we make it to the wraith. This really doesn't end, does it? So either way we make it to the wraith. Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her, it doesn't matter if she kills us, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, in which case, I guess there's nothing to fear then. Yes, so it does. Oh my. We get, we get a new voice! We get a new voice! Let's go! Let's go, Azusa from Diabolic Lovers. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we cold just let her leave? <laughs> Let's go cold. <laughs> okay. So 
You've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all hmm. about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. Sam Moon, thank you so much, Sam Moon, for five DOPO jumps and membership gifts. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate a lot, Sam Moon. The S stands for. Sa. Sa. Hmm. Salutations. <laughs> I was gonna say, the S stands for. Sock. Because. We're definitely going to need footwear to get out of this situation. I could have said sandals or shoes, actually. Then let me remind you how. Oh, for slay the princess. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a better S word. Slay. If she gets yeah. out, the world <laughs> ends, and everyone ends with it, yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. More than twice. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really should have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But mm. now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and to do your job, all right? Smaller says, maybe the cold friend needs a jacket. Um, you're right, you're right. You know, I, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. You know, if cold friend gets a jacket, maybe he'll, he'll warm up to us a little bit. All right. Jacket time. Three, two, one. There you go. Jacket for you. Cold voice. Great. Let's just hurry. Oh, Vivian. Thank you so much, Vivian. Welcome to WAG. Let's see. Explore. Are we the same narrator that we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. Explore says, We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through the soup forever, eventually we're going to have to let her out. We might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. And there's something else we haven't tried. Turn around and leave. Well, we, we've tried that. Let's talk about the narrator, though. Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. Risa! Thank you so much, Risa! Appreciate a lot. Five don't your jobs like membership gifts. The R and Risa stands for romance because this is still a romance game. Even if it's creepy. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything. In effect, making them all separate. What if, what if, what if the threads that we see, like the hair texture, what if each thread is basically its own reality? So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. Interesting. But also, what if this voice of the cold is Princess's voice crawling inside of her head? They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. They? Is Nari talking to me? Let's see. We've been killed by her. We might as well let her out. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. But it does, doesn't Those little it? little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. 
and you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Well, thank you, Freesha. Five months of close to getting my jacket. Yeah, I'll cheer for you to get your jacket too. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. Cold plus here plus paranoid is equal to day. I, I, I'm guessing as well, yeah. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him someplace that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. It, it really does sound like the princess, the, the, the way that it's talking. What if we turn around and leave? I'm begging you, don't do this. You're going to damn everything to oblivion. You have to do something. You can't just walk away. But the narrator seems... The narrator also seems more... More desperate than ever. And here we are. Walking away despite your protestations. There's got to be a crack in this world somewhere. If he's looking in at us, there has to be a way out. Ugh, fine. You walk down the path away from the cabin. Oh, for all our sakes that you change your mind before it's too late. Wait, something isn't right. Can you s- w What's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels like... Home. I knew it! It's finally happened, hasn't it? We finally cracked. I knew it. The world around you is unwound, its physical matter replaced by textured quality. You find yourself in the long quiet once again, memory returns. Distant rumbling, hands say hello, betrayal. Every door you close on me is a door you close on yourself. Do you want to linger here, entwined with the creature, to you to creature you taught to hate you forever? Eternity never ends. Cold spite. Our infinity shrink into something less. I hate you, 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 I hate you. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is Could could we have Maybe maybe we never had to kill her. Oh damn. Okay, well let's see. Let's just proceed to the cabin this time. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful mm. inevitability. There must be something I, we're missing. I'm, I'm feeling... that would make uh, everything make sense. I'm feeling really bad. At this point, I, I wonder... I wonder if there could have been a... Could have been, like... A run where we're just a good boy the entire time to to the princess. Damn. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. What's going on? Even the narrator's being weird. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Are you gonna try using reverse psychology on me, or have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless Clowns advice. again! Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Take it however you will. I sent to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is oh. dark. A single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. The curtains billow mirror out again. Windows on either side, obscuring the path forward. Fluttering so weird. As opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is. Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? A pristine blade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Pio chan uh, Chano says, Pio chans voice calls me down and makes me sleepy. <laughs> Thank you, Tano. I'm really glad that you like my voice. I feel confident. 
The C stands for confidence. Let's see. Approach the mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. That's true. Why can't the, why can't the narrator see the mirror? It seems to be his biggest weakness. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Why would the mirror you clean? Reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. We're gonna get jump scared. We're gonna get jump scared. Jump scaring coming. Jump scaring coming. Helplessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen... Alright, better get used to the hard lung liver's nerves. She, the princess, constricts your bones. Snaps. What? Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. And you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying the visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, all right, pause, pause a sec. Why are feet like that? Why are feet like that? Oh my god. It looks almost like we have chicken feet. So weird. It's with our feet. We have a really, really, really long middle toe. That's the biggest middle toe I've ever seen in my life. Scary. You killed me last time. And that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom. But then you took my body away from me. So now, I'm going to take yours. And I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out and it's different. We might as well take it. Cold guy, co cold guy is betraying me. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Ava Rose says, good morning, I hope your head's feeling better. Yeah, it's much better. Thank you so much, Ava. Yeah, my head was feeling pretty, uh, pretty bad last night, but it's great today. And really, once again, arigato to everyone who uh, was cheering me on. Thank you. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the definition. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? Pain hurts. You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Let's see. Look, we killed you. You killed me and then I killed you water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all this too, you know. When possessing me against my will, make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil, you don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can I just open the door for you? Or oh, that's fine, I actually came here to free you. See? That wasn't so hard. And maybe this will make it hurt a little less. Maybe. You remain pinned to the floor. Oh, the you can see her hips. Body oh just, man. Her proportions all wrong. Limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. She has hair. She has nails. No heels, but she has hips. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. I think she'd like spaghetti. Are you sure you can't do anything? Papyrus. Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. 
Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. <gasps> you can see- wait, wait, you can see on her chest. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, respectfully, respectfully if you look at her chest. There's the, uh, the knife wound. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Soul? You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Was, does that mean the narrator in the beginning was inside of her heads? Like 100%? Oh. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps. Or not, the because wall, we have no choice. Into it for support. Do we have a choice? I'd beg you to resist, but you've already surrendered your will to her, haven't you? You're the puppet master here. If this is the only way we could cut ourselves free from you, so be it. It's a new experience. You should try being possessed sometime. There's nothing else like it. Paul's voice is weird. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and well, she likes that, so. shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. <laughs> Like, romantically? But despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. <sighs> the narrator's final gambit. Long hallway. Meat and feathers! Oh my god, we were a sidekick this whole time. Please, just... Let her out. Oh my god. Yeah. Let. Me. Out. It's pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no, screw that. The hallway gets even longer. You have described me into submission. The core is right there. <sighs> it really is, isn't it? I walked to it. I placed her bloody hand on the door. I made you twist the handle. Isn't saying all of this his job? He is gone. Oh, he really is, isn't he? I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. I did nothing. He dealt with himself. That mean. Spaces all the other voice back scene and narrated to progress the story is by far the funniest thing from all this. Y yeah, <laughs> everyone's belligerent against the narrator. <laughs> this is it then. The big moment. Finally, we'll get to see what's really out there. Nothing, it's gonna be a black void. The candle flicks as we push forward. The air is different here. Passenger. Ending. But as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear. A rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had nestled in the deep crevices of your body. From everything that isn't you. We're us again. How interesting. Everything is gone. Except her. What? What? What is happening to me? Ooh, 
The hands! Well, goodbye. But you don't... But you don't answer her before she's gone. Memory returns. She's gone? Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? This mirror seems to be the big... Interesting thing of the game. Let's see. Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. <gasps> Wait, what? Are is the player becoming a god? Explore. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before, and you always get scared. What the hell is going on? It feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's calling us, and not in a good way. Oh my god, is it... We're breaking the fourth wall in so many different ways. You don't... The, the, the voice of the cold knows. What? Why does the cold know? I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so. We'll trust you. Ah, they trust me. We trust you. Whatever makes you happy. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Deadpool, you've grown. You've grown. You find yourself in a long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Oh, she's different now. Approach her. Is this is this a different ending? I think so. I think so. I think I that these are the things that count. Quiet alone. I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me with her? But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. It's a hot pocket. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. So I think I think this means that this is one of the uh, one of the endings that we're looking for. I guess we're searching for these hands. Let's see. Are you the same being as you as as you were before? How much have you how much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Let's see. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, hmm. and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Nicole says, she's absolutely my favorite one that I voice. I love her so much. Yeah, she's really special, isn't she? It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Once again, nice work, Nicole. Good night. Let's see. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? Oh, do you mean... Oh, wait, Nicole, do you... Are you talking about the, uh... The skeleton version? <laughs> or do you... Or are you talking about the, um... The hands goddess? For, for lack of a better terms. Singing as the vocalist from Hollow Knight? Oh, that's actually really sick. Let's see. Nope, the long, quiet version. Ah, I see, I see. Long, okay, long, quiet version is a good way. Hmm. <gasps> yeah, long, quiet is my... Is, is my favorite version of her as well. It's the one where I get the most answers. And it's the one I'm feeling the most... Interested in... Talking to the most. You know, you know compared to the other versions of the princess where... You know, she doesn't ever talk to us, really. She hates small talk. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. 
and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. What? <laughs> okay. I just got hit with that TikTok cat, the one that goes, huh? I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. Luvian says, it feels like we're helping her become a god or something. Yeah. If she becomes like Heidelin from uh, FF14, yeah, let's go. <laughs> You know that at the end of this, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see. Let's see. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why could I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are <gasps> useless to us now. Oh. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. So she's the one who closes off our paths. It wasn't the narrator. Spades, thank you so much, Spades, for five dope you jobs and membership gifts. The S stands for superb. Because <laughs> the story is really uh making me uh fly like super. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm wrapping my head around it. So let's see. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. And there's also why. We'll say thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Let's see. What do you want me to bring to you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Hmm. Let's see, so you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? Hmm. Oh, I kind of like this one. Ah, uh, I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. There is a hurt that dwells in them, but they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. Uh -huh. They are feelings that inform my being. Okay. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. And in a way, so... So do we, the player, too, right? Hmm. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. So she's like, research? Hmm. Maybe. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. Mm. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. She's like an AI trying to become human through experiences. Hmm. I think that's a good way to put it. Let's see. Uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build upon. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. So we... <laughs> we need a lot more. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. Okay, do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. That's true, actually. Wait, that's true, that's true, that's true. Usually the princess has always been like downstairs, just sitting. But the princess was extremely active in this, in this round. A driven heart is a really good way to put it. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Mm hmm Alright, I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. 
the rays. You're on a path in the woods. Okay, okay, okay. On path to the woods. Let's see. Uh, do I get some kind of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. What kind of reward? Mm, let's see. Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Can, oh, can, can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. But whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Guys are gonna get... Oh, oh damn. <laughs> damn. I hope it's a Steam gift card. Let's see. Uh... Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Headpads? Oh yeah, it could be headpads. Make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning. She... No, 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 The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls hmm. are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. The blade. Steam blade. Let's, let's just enter the basement without the blade. What happens? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a stack. Her voice. Hello? Is someone there? What? No way. Who? Who are you? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Uh... I... I'm here to save you! How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Oh no, okay. Yo, it's time. We're about to protect your smile. Here we go! Come downstairs! I wanna see the face of my rescuer. Yeah, 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 it's me, and me, and me. You walk down the stairs <gasps> and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. <gasps> guys, Binding guys, it's time. It's time. Alright. Alright, alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I am begging you to stay focused. No, whatever. I, I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. <gasps> yeah, me too. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Yeah. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. <sighs> but I bet you don't want the end of the visual novel to happen, do you, Mr. Narrator? Hold on, let's talk a bit first. Uh, no, no, I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're wel- you're welcome! You're making a huge- Shut note. up. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, we are. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall. They're large. Tintaga. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just mm. left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Uh, let's see. Um, and if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Ah. Uh. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. have to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. No! Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here again. Please are met. I'll repeat myself. Uh... You try the door. Go. Damn it, no. Same like before. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? 
easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. You have to save her, yeah. Guys, you have to save her. New daughter alert. I heard the door I, No, 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 sorry. They no. locked you down here too, didn't they? <laughs> no, no new daughter alert. <laughs> no, 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 we're not adopting her as a daughter. No, 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 no. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Oh god. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. Oh god. I'm not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Okay. Well. Wow. So. She definitely isn't helpless. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. Goodness. The blade is sharp. And it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. She stopped talking too. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. But how are we gonna get out of the door? She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets. We're gonna yours, protect your smile. Blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. But how? No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair- Oh, that's right, I forgot. Stairs. This happens again. Ah, oh, I forgot this. Wait, this isn't fair. I completely forgot. What are you doing? Warner. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? N your body lunges forward, the blade held oh, low, God. ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. So just like how the princess was able to control our body before, the narrator can always control our body. Resist. The blade. Move the... As your body remains frozen in stubborn... It's a completely resistance. different CG. The princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this... No! Is She's gonna die. It's over. It's over. It's over. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What the hell? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Is she is she picking the chance because that's how we killed her that one time? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh my god. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound. It won't be long before you bleed could, out. Could, could, could she be a different princess? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Un unless she's doing it on purpose? That, that, we're, that we're suffering. With one last I, thrust the of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, 
your blood pooling around you, your limbs. Oh yeah, yeah. At, <laughs> at, at least, at least you said she was sorry. Yeah. Chest, as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood spattered cheeks. Yeah. At, at, at least she said she's sorry. It's okay. It's all right. It can't just end <laughs> like this. It's okay. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. The damsel. Okay, so this was an ending, though. Or, I, I guess this is a path. In the woods. Oh. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the- you're here to slay her. Okay. Uh... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> we'll just go. A warning before you go and she will lie. If oh, <laughs> no. If is oh, the smitten, the smitten. What the hell? New one. Our beloved brutally take our life last time. He's trying to keep us apart, but he won't be able to withstand the power of our love. Let's go. Let's go, smitten. Lila, th Lila, thank you so much for. I do feel trusted I'm sure you appreciate it. All right, we're smitten now. His voice is also dope <laughs> This is the voice of chat. Oh, I like that. This is the voice of chat. Last time? What are you talking about? I think he just likes to hear the sound of his own voice. Let's try to ignore him. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be <laughs> The voice stressed. of the simp. No, 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 it's, 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 no, this is poetic, it's like Shakespeare. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed. Okay, so, I guess what we have to do is just not get the knife again to get to the damsel ending. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. You know, the only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. You know, if you take a look at the if you take a good look at the um at the table, and if you take a good look at the door, and the, even the stars, they're all still moving as if it were like a uh, like a woven dream or something, but both the knife and the mirror don't move. I guess that they're the most important things. The blade is your implement. Okay, let's take let's look at the mirror again. You walk up to the wall next to. The, what are you talking about? You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. Right Wait, but but this time there's a. But there was a mirror a second ago. There's something there. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. He's a no. Oh, I hate him so. You know, you know, the voice of the smitten. I don't know. He's he's kind of a. <laughs> Great. All right. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. A, it was just a tapestry. Let's just enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open. Wow, it's even more uh... the stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Oh yeah, the feather. Basement. If the princess oh. lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I was thinking about it being like a feather cap, but a feathered a feathered being is a soft voice carries up the stairs. Hmm. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. Her voice got even sweeter, even actually. More beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit much, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, even the hero's cringing at it. We don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Mm. 
You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. She has become even more Kali. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Yikes. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Dashing, that's a nice D word. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. Let us dash towards her. And she called us a hero. <laughs> Let's go hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Hell yeah. Waiting for you to come back. You've been here before, haven't you? That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first yeah, 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 yeah. damn the whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. And you can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. I feel like the narrator's voice is starting to trail away. It's getting quieter. Horrible for you, maybe. His influence We've is lessening. Given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Now the now 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 the uh the Shakespeare over here is so cringe that the hero is starting to become the uh the uh. Cynical one. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. I'll right, save. Oh, the scary one's there. Let's see. Um, I'm so sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She, uh, yeah, I'm the best. She took that in stride to a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. She's perfect! Aw, oh, damn. She has someone like him telling her what to do. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Let's see. Uh... I didn't bring a knife, so I have to cut you out again. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Oh. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. I think her dress is completely different from before too, isn't what? it? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? Yeah, Hero, you, you are weird. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Uh, let's, well, we don't, we don't have that option, we can only rescue, so rescue. Oh, what happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> but before we start talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? 
Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. It's my heart melts further with every word. Are you kidding me? Through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. A confession of love. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. I have no feeling one way or another about the world ending. At least you're being honest. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a nihilist. Um... The princess shifts in uncomfortable confusion. Me too. I don't care. She wasn't confused for long. If she doesn't care, then clearly she didn't end the world. It would take a great desire for evil to do something so inconceivable, and our dearest has not an ounce of cruelty within her. Ray. Well. And it's high time we rescued our beloved. Thank you, Ray. Welcome to Ag. Alright, let's just rescue the princess then. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... I would if you had a weapon. Oh, wait, wait, what, what did he say? Uh, you know what? You'll take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain tight and <laughs> And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Oh, damn. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? Why is it here being cynical? Come on! Approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That. <laughs> I'll be damned. And I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. We did it. We, we beat the game, guys. It's over. We beat the game. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Nah, forget you and your pristine blade. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our <laughs> Let's go. What do we do now? Let's see. What do you what, what, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world, spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Our charm is working. We have we have unbearably high charm set. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> she... The whole thing with, with the whole nihilism thingy, it's, it's coming back. Let's see. I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. I just want to leave. You can figure that out the rest later. Do you want to end the world? If you want to leave, then sleep. Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking her that? Oh, we've been over this one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Well, she just says she doesn't know what she wants, so I'm not gonna push her. Uh, let's see. Nah, I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. Or if you want to leave, then let's leave. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand. <laughs> the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. Yeah, but Telekai. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. <laughs> we we have such a different BGM playing right now. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs 
hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. I, I have a feeling that something's gonna happen. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Can we just smash the door? Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> Same here, hero. Let's see. Do you think you can open it? <gasps> well, I don't know. Do you think I can? Of course she can. You believe in her, right? The power of belief. Nobody is leaving this basement. Yeah, I think you've got this. <gasps> no, no, I think we can open it if we try together. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. It's symbolic. And the lock clicks and the door is <laughs> open. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the power of love is so strong. The hell? I told you our love was insurmountable. <laughs> Voice of the Smitten is actually the strongest guy in the whole world. You and the princess make your way upstairs, and the blade. Oh, uh, let's take the blade and slay the princess. Ooh, ooh, save. That's a funny ending. You're not doing that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. That's the way out. We're going to leave together. Just like you wanted. This is a power of love. Let's go, power of love. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step outside. <laughs> it worked! A happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring. Oh man. Oh. Couldn't enjoy the uh, the happy ending that long. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Our f we, we we do have feathers. What the hell? Well, at least she smiled at the end. We, she she smiled at the end, which means we, we uh, protected her smile. But you don't have the chance to make that jacket. <laughs> oh my God, the game's reading us, guys. It even remembered out loud that we used the word jacket. Jacket. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? Let's see. Uh, it's going to be okay. Just trust me. You've been here before. It feels so bad. But yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. Right? Preen. All right, uh, I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay, she'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. No, all doopy jags are ethically sourced and not made from hero down feathers. You know what? That's true. I should put that on the label. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection, silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. It's Deadpool. You've withered. Oh, are we? 
you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. There she is! You are at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. Here we are, back at the long quiet. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Hand lady? Yeah, hand lady's back. Let's see. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Let's go! Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Uh, let's see. Mm. See, we asked a lot of these. Okay, what about the first one? You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. Bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also hmm. none of it. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Do we resent her? Let's see. If it makes you me, if it, if anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. Yes, you torture me and I hate you. I think I hate you. Huh. No, I think we like her. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. Let's see. Ah. Uh, hmm. Have you figured out what you'll want when we're finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for. Our way. Yeah. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. How's my headache doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, like... I I'd say I'd say like at the most like 5% hurt, but it's all good. Let's see. Uh... How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know. I asked, are you there yet? She says, you'll know. Alright, uh... I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 1 hmm. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin hmm. is a princess. You're here to slay her. Let's see. End of the world. Uh. I, I wonder what else we can do. Proceed into the cabin. Hmm. Okay, what if we enter the basement and say, Just checking in on you. You are? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. So she's she's her she's in her damsel mode again. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy she's beautiful. I am begging you to Hi. Okay. Huh. We've done a few vessels. I think we've done two or three. What's your name? Oh. She pauses. 
carefully formulating her words before she re- You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? <laughs> Mario Mario princess princess. So is princess your name? Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. You know, I was playing this game, and the da and the game had uh, had something to do with demons, and um, it said that it said that demons aren't allowed to lie, like they are incapable of telling lies, which makes me wonder if 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 she has ever lied to us before. The narrator definitely has lied to us. So the narrator is not a demon. Because we asked na the narrator like really mundane things like, is there a prize? He says, yes, there is a prize. Um, and y yeah, that's, that's definitely a lie. But the princess could be a demon. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go name is the Fae? Get the blade and slay her before it's too late. Hmm. Let's see. If I'm the first person that you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. I don't know. Plot holes are. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Hmm. Let's see. Interesting, 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 interesting. I don't know anything for about you. For all I know, you could be locked here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? I wonder what the next, next vessel we should go for is. You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. I wonder if the other paths that we chose before branch off. Hmm. See, I was sent here to slay. You're supposed to. You're apparently supposed to win the world. Oh. But I don't actually think that you're dangerous. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Hmm. Hmm. I was hoping that... You would tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. You believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Oh, what the hell? You know, you know, I, I, I just remembered. We broke her heart before, and she said that she wouldn't forget that. And she has been shown the capability to remember her memories from past lives. Could we, could we, could we break her again? Just to get the next ending? I don't know what to do! Oh, oh my god. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but I don't didn't know. tell you why. I don't know, can, can we, can we save her again, but in a I different way? That. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. What's going on? She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. 
This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. There's something more real about this one. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Is, is she opening up more about her self? Because she trusted us from the last ending. Do you oh, really shit. think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Oh man, she's making a lot of sense. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Let's see. Okay, wait, this is an interesting choice. The first one. I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everyone would be happy. You can also get the blade. Hmm. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with uh, her I guess soon, not. she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. The shakiness in her voice is convincing? It really is. Especially since it's much different from the other ones that she did before. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't... I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Is she making a reference to before? You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to reload this one. And I, and then if we do examine the chains, what happens? Only making this more what I what I remembered, what I remember, what I just remembered is that the hand lady said that she's going to the hand lady said that she's going to make it impossible for us to to go back down routes that we've done before. So if we play it as we, so we can play it as much as we want to, and we won't be scared about making a choice, a bad choice, I guess. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the prince. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna check upstairs. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to someone. It's it's closed. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic mm. rising in the prince. Any place. route is a new route. I'm hoping so. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Hmm. So she's still on the together aspect. And we don't have a- and we don't have a knife. So, what I'm hoping for- okay, wait. So I guess what what's different now is that she's on our side, but we don't have the knife. Which means that even if the narrator wanted to control us, we couldn't kill her. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination as she rips her flesh from her bone. A sound comes from behind. Oh, never mind. The knife is back. From upstairs, or we could. You won't like. Save the princess this time. <sighs> Fine. Again, you cut. The blade is sharp. Her limb. Okay. No. She smiles. How is? Thank you. Approach the locked door. No. We won't have any of that as the place again. Watch. Oh, we can't warn her this time. Okay, so now we slay the princess. Okay, no going back now. okay so it did, it did block it out. It did block it out. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. 
Slaying her won't be easy now that she's- We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? I don't know what's come over you, but if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. I didn't realize that she had those nails. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. She's she's fighting differently this time. Your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're mm. very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. When we fought on her cool side, she was more professional. Mm. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny mm. the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. The witch. The witch. You're on a path. The witch. In the woods, and you're here to. All right. But I already slew the princess. Sure, I, I, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after. If he doesn't remember what happened, then brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. The opportunist. You know I can hear you, right? What does it mean by the opportunist? It's a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. What's different between the opportunist? Hmm. Well, let's just go to the cabin. A warning. She will. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Huh. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls are chaotic uh -huh. of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf. Hero? With oh! A pristine blade Wait. perched on its edge. No, the hero is always with us, it's just... The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's see, let's take... Uh, let's... Hmm... Let's approach the mirror. Walk up to the. What are you talking? You reach for nothing. Okay. Your hand against the cabin wall. Uh, I'll save Don't again. You know Oops. Uh, not skip. I'll save again. And then we'll take. We'll enter the basement. No blade. Hope you know what you're getting us into. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time, and we still died. But we definitely know what we're doing this time. I mean, we had the blade last time, so I don't really think that the blade the matters too much. Open, revealing a staircase the blade will just the appear. Earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to swallow you up into the earth. Beast Princess. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. <laughs> I... I... Scarla? <laughs> I'm not nasty! But you are. You're a wretched little thing. Scarla? 
I recognized that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Carla? She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Am I pronouncing Scarla right, actually? It's been almost a year. I'm wondering if I ever learn how to pronounce Scarla right. There's an E at the end, right? So maybe it's pronounced Scarly. Like I Scarly. I know you see how much the world would change for me. It, it is. Okay, wait. So, so it is Scarla. Hmm. But then again, it could be really belligerent and, and start calling her I Scarly from now on. Hmm. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. This is also very true. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. Oh. Descend the basement steps. Oh, the she has tail. Oh. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. I didn't know this was Nekopara! Oh. There you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? You made a comment back in the woods about having been here before. Now she's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. <laughs> Which princess is kind of nice, <laughs> you guys. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. Mm. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. I don't know, I want to talk to Nekopara. Well... I seem to really Jeez, the whole mouth. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Let's see. I'm sorry about last time. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Let's see. Look, I know, I know. Things got messy last time, but I think there's something uh, bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord. Hovel? Did you? All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. The opportunist is really deciding with whoever has uh, more power during this time. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. This version says guy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Ah, uh, let's see. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of these chains? Hmm. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. 
Oh, okay. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. Oh, the opportunist is smitten now. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Let's see. Ah. Uh, okay, let's leave. Yes, let's. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, Ooh. even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. Final Fantasy XIV Mikote. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. She's a kitty? <laughs> kitty. <laughs> well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. Hmm. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. Alright, step onto the stairs. That's right, you're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Man, she really does speak like Scarla. And begin your it's, it's, like, it's like insane to me. The princess follows close on your heels. Perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. Like, if she says, if she says, like, criminy, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. <laughs> Thank you for the super baby moi. <laughs> yeah, Scarl is another, uh, is, uh, is, is my senpai from Iluna. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. What? She's clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, man, ah, oh, cry many. Against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and... You had several. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. <laughs> I don't like having a broken we back. You were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back on her for everything you've done. Let's see. What the hell was that for? I was trying to help you out of here. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. Aww. And you know as well as I that by our very natures, only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. 
See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. And then you'd say something like, wow. <laughs> wow. I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was iron. Oh, so maybe. Really, it was huh. doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. Ho ho ho! So she's got it as bad as us. Oh! <laughs> so it's romantic still. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so. so funny? She eyes you with intensity. Huh. So is this is this route still? You for a long moment. We still get to hand lady. Travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go! But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen? Hello? Oh yeah, Still looks there. like looks like so. He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Oh, there she goes. Hmm. But you don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave Memory Where Returns. Did Where did she go? And there's that. It's going to be okay. Blah blah blah. If, so bad, if he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. <laughs> I like the opportunist. Uh, let's see. I'll see you on the other side. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Finally. We're going places. Opportunist is, uh, easily positive. The remains you've unraveled. So we're just bones now. Huh. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Explore. There's trees and stars and people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. Let's see. Ooh, this one's interesting. When you step me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are mace, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have... Have the vessels ha had one? Okay, let's do this one first. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. So she really is going to try to become a god, I guess. Or maybe she already is. Let's see. Let's do that narrator no. one. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Uh, let's see. He does, I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does, I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are going to finally have some answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You think that anything real is out there? Do you think that even we are real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, Nothing can't exist. Let's see. 
Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is hope, marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Aww. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. Let's see. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then go One. And pull the others back uh. to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Okay. I guess I think I think we can do one more. Let's see. Let's see, if this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Alright. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, okay. So you and the princess. Okay, okay. Let's let's speed through this a little bit. Let's see. Killing a princess does seem kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, just silently go to the cabin. Proceed into the cabin. Enter the basement. Let's see. I think I'm here to slay you. You must have the wrong address. Great job. You've given away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Well, let, let's see what the game gives us, because we're stuck in... Uh, we, walk down the stairs we won't be able to do... Uh, There's a heavy chain around her wrist. We won't be able to do to endings that we can't get. I mean, we, we, won't, we won't be able to, to, to redo endings, right? So, uh, let's see. If I look at preferences... Skip... Okay, we can't skip unseen... Choices, so we'll just press skip whenever. You were joking about coming here to kill me, right? Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Well, let's talk a bit first. Okay. Let's see. What's your name? Oh. Skip. Princess is your name. Skip. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I said I was sent here to kill you. You're apparently gonna end the world. It, is that why they threw me down here? Same thing. Hmm. Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Hopefully it won't be too late when you finally mm -hmm. come around. Thank you for believing me. Now, can you help me get out of here? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Walk up to the chair, large and heavy. Far too I'm guessing you don't have the key? You don't have the key. Let's see. Okay. Do this one again. Return to the bottom. You make your way to the Stuck bottom. again. And we can now Without just slay. Bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. Okay, so in this one, we kill her while she's eating her arm. Okay. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? Sort of. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. Mm. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. <sighs> I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. And she's chained up. I'm not so sure. Don't waver. And she's chained up. And she's chained up. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. But she's chained up. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground. Huh. Your body racked with pain as she so, so it's similar you. to the last ending that we got. Her, this is about survival. 
slay the princess. The seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade, have, you seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Give up. Oh, okay, we just give up. Are you serious? What? We just give up. As what's left of your blood pools around you on the cobblestone floor, the blade falls from your trembling hands and clatters uselessly against the ground. Huh. I suppose you simply lack the princess. Wounded but still alive, nervously jumps at the blade and kicks it far away from you before retreating into a dark corner of the room. Her shining eyes watch you from the darkness, unblinking and cure. We can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be huh, and This one is a weird ending. From this place. Or, a, or at least a weird route. To kill her before she can reach the outside world. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? This is the end, isn't it? Before you can answer, everything goes dark, and you die. Okay, so which one's this chapter to? The Beast! The Beast. You're on a path, you're here to slay- Alright. Let's proceed to the cabin. Oh wait, we should we should have checked which one we are. She will does a cat the hunted a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? So it's not just paranoid, it's hunted now. I don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, she's the okay. one who's cornered. Okay, okay, let's see. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. So this one is a very bestial one. That's a very roundabout way of saying instincts that only. And take this seriously, maybe. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. Why is it, it all like sideways? Lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's see. Let's just enter the basement without the blade again. Do you think we can talk our way out of this? I don't think she wants to talk. Steel claw. I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. It'll still be here if we need it. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can convince her that we're the okay the again. The creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece. Though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Jungle? She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. Do I smell good? She sounds almost... feral. Impatient. Or maybe... eager. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. Boy smell! <laughs> brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. Can... can... D d d does she like our smell? She's an actual beast. Gopara? The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. She's on the left. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Okay, maybe not on the left anymore. Remember, she's just a princess. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Is she attracted to like a bee that seeks honey? <laughs> Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. We're gonna get eaten, aren't we? I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. Let's see ya. We, we don't have to kill each other, you know that, right? There's a shift in the humid air, and something enormous, a 
princess lunges from the shadows, her maw unhinged and dripping. Oh, her shit. eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. <gasps> you are devoured. Already? I guess that's it then, isn't it? You got eaten. Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. You are in a dark and caustic place. No Thinking way. The lining constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly we were, your surroundings we were as they were eaten whole. Your she didn't even chew. In such a tiny space. Not oh my humid, god. Night air grants <laughs> a few shallow breaths at a You spoke when you needed to act. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. Is she is she controlling her stomach <laughs> acids? Oh. <laughs> burn as the acid begins. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. Wait, so she's gonna carry me in her belly to get her out? <laughs> the flesh around you rumbles. Oh my god. Her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you... You don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your- This is, this is, this is, yeah, probably the weirdest round so far. And I draped what was left of you on my back. And I threw myself against that door. Is, is, is this what it feels like to be emergency food? She stops, her muscles tensing around you. And through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. Is she... D does she know that we're like that withered mess thing? And then it was gone. And I was here. A new enclosure. A nicer cage. But still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Oh, okay. I guess this is romantic. Sort, sort of. Work. Could she free herself if we're alive in here? We joke about Vor so much we are never prepared for it actually happening. <laughs> Do you really need to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. We don't have steel, but we have tooth and claw. Tear through her before we are her. Let's see. Uh, can you can you talk to the cabin? Let's see. Fine, you can leave. Oh. Can I? The click of what you presume to be a door ripples through the layers of suffocating flesh. That wasn't so hard. You feel her take another massive step, and then another, and then... And then? It's gone quiet, hasn't it? You can feel it churning in the forms around you, and then a wet tunneling before you are ejected to a place that is nowhere at all. I guess I don't need you to be a part of me. How lucky for you. What the hell am I looking at? This is a Nekopara. This place is cold. But before you can say anything to her, she's gone. Memory returns. Gone. Is that a mirror time? All right. But it feels so bad. The thing weeks of death. Death. Okay. I'd like to be somewhere nice. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. The gun once again, the mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure. 
faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. We're Vantacrew! Oh my god! Oh my god, we were Vantacrew this whole t We were Vant- Oh! I should have known we were Vanta. Oh, we were Vanta! This whole t Guys, when he raided us in the beginning! Guys! We were- We were Vanta! And- And bring her! Because we- because we were- we, we bring her... We bring her fragments of herself. So... So we were just bringing her stuff. Because we're Vanta Crow bringer! <laughs> ka ka! And- and- and this whole thing about climbing stairs... And- and climbing mountains... And going to the ca that was just parkour! Oh my god! This was just Vantacro Bringer Simulator! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you me? I think you know what I am. The crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Let's see. So, you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. Unless how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Unless it's not a crow and it's a raven, in which case, never more. Let's see. Oh my god, there's so many questions. What are you? Are you something are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Then ask them, and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Oh, oh, we really don't have that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I've met you many- No, 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 we know that. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? If you're not me, then what are you? Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Let's we've see this one. Crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. And say, what are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. I'm an echo. Like echo. you are Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Say, others like you? You said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Huh. Anytime you failed, anytime you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. People? Wait, is... Are we still in the prologue or something? If you made me, then what am I? Wait, 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 wait. wait. So... What is the princess? Did you make her too? Wait. What is my true- Oh my god, these are all good questions. I think we only have like two left. She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Oh, Nicole, good night. Thank you so much for joining the uh, the uh, the arcade. Welcome to Egg. <laughs> Nicole, 
Now you can use emails? Yeah! Here we go! Welcome, welcome, welcome! <laughs> welcome to Egg. We're about to hit a really interesting point in the game, I think. Let's see. If I destroy her, won't I be all alone? I... Uh, 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 <laughs> there's so many questions. We don't have enough shards. Uh, let's see. Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? That's true. It would have nice would have been really nice and interesting to hear Nicole voice an ant or a slice of soggy bread. Are you asking me to spend my final moments <laughs> psychoanalyzing? <laughs> she wound up a princess because you wanted her to be a princess. As to why Oh, it's because we wanted her to be a princess. She to be beautiful, important, above you, but on a level you could still approach. A herald of things to come. I don't know. Gods are supposed to be beyond comprehension. I really shouldn't try and anthropomorphize you like this. Ah. <sighs> oh, uh, not many left. I think three? And what is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made. We were the long quiet? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh no, we're not gonna get enough. <sighs> Let's see. people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp <sighs> of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. Oh, Ray! Thank you so much, Ray! For 10 dope your jumps and membership gifts. Ray! Stands for... The Zero. The infinite, the ending, and the beginning to come. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Last one. Alright, run out of questions. I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good. Well, there's no reasoning with a god. Even one you've woven into existence yourself. I've said my piece, and my time is up. Alright. Finally, it's time to protect your like smile. Said, just an echo. And echoes always fade away. Goodbye. As a final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. All right, here we go. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Huh? What? What? Oof. Oh. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Well, there's a lot to see, but I'm glad it's all censored very tastefully. Thank goodness. <laughs> It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Oh my god. However, you know, the, the art for this is absolutely fantastic. Feels like my senses are overwhelmed. Let's see. See, I've missed you too! Honey, I'm home! <laughs> she unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response, and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear a conversation? 
Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. No more capital H. See, I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A, a shifting mound. What, I actually am. what is a shifting mound? What is a shifting mound? I kind of, I kind of remember like, like those Mario games where there's like a Monty Mole underneath the ground, and like there's like a little like hill that shows where the mole is, and then like moves left and right. <laughs> she is Monty Mole. <laughs> What happens now, Monty? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't I it? Imagine a jiggling plate of jello. Oh, I see. <laughs> Delicious. When the echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not deaf, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Like the beginning of the game said, this is a love story. We have to see this through. Let's see. Don't you ever say in all this, why is this all feeling on me, falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. <laughs> We're because soulmates. You and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Oh, I can save. Oh, interesting. I think I would have expected them to, to take away our save function. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you are always going to become this, and what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? Mm -hmm. If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 hold, hold on, so many, so many times, so, so, wait, 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 wait. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stops and slinks in shadows. Within, you are tightly bound and choke on heavy air as acid burns its way into your pores. A nest, but even when dissolved, you gifted me a life. Perhaps it was fear that drove you. Perhaps it was compassion. Wait, is this, is this saying our final ending is... food? But the outcome of an act matters more than its intentions. <laughs> I mean, I lowered it down a little bit. To the cycle of things sustaining things. A world without sustenance is a world without relationships. And it is our relationships that give us form and substance. Okay, I lowered it. I, I think it's okay now. Let's see. You're right, without desire we have no need for relationships. We would be all alone. Yes, without desire we have no need for relationships. We would all be alone, but if you had no desires, would being alone be so bad? Now I'm a good boy. And it is through those desires that each of us found the other. And it is through each other that we will find our freedom. Behind your back and a trick behind mine. Oh, oh, she's she's re recalling our, our our endings. But forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. 
I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. No, Mrs. Let's go seven months. Oh, hi, Hype. You. I'm a little late, but I hope you had fun with the game. Yeah, <laughs> a little late. <laughs> Thank you, Nomi. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? You know, I feel like I feel like there were definitely way more princesses that we could have had at the ending as well. Cause Cause um You never really took the knife in the beginning all that often. If there are no endings, there are no limbs. If there are no limbs, then there's no difference between growth and decay. Wait, stop the fight early and surrender. We're, we're fighting? Let's see. With time, we could have been better. And there is always time. Oh, it's Princess. Oh. And another, oh, and another, oh, oh, and oh, 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 we're, we're, we're her, her perspective. Because I can't stand to see it go. But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Let's see ya. That, that feeling never left me. Aw, oh, damn, nice. Then there's no need for you to fight what we are. Whenever you're ready, we can leave together. Hand in loving hand. Well, you see, you have way more hands than I do. You probably have, like, at least ten more hands than I do. No, I won't leave with you. Not until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open your eyes, then I will give you all the time in and the I didn't even think we were fighting. I thought we were just gonna be like, yo, exactly, hand in hand, let's leave. Flush is a vehicle. I destroyed the flesh is the strand of the spirit. With violence, you stranded me. And with violence, I sought to twist your flesh back into mine. To put in perspective how much the game there is, there's nearly a hundred achievements? It went above and beyond. Oh my god. Uh, I helped you out of fear, and I'm not afraid of you anymore. That's why I resist you now. I was glad to set you free, actually. Then set me free again. Set both of us free. No, I won't leave with you. Not until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open your eyes. The first one. To question everything is to deny the proof of reality that lies in front of you. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. In believing in your limitations, you placed a shackle on your neck. But even then, you remembered the impermanence of the material, and watched the first as the walls ending. of your prison decayed into nothing. To be impermanent is not to end, but to change. And for the world to be impermanent is to make finite the suffering of all things. Suffering of all things? No wonder. If she is the suffering of all things, no wonder she is the embodiment of Discord light mode. It's so bright. Would you strip that gift away and leave them all to suffer in their permanence? Let's see. That would be. Hmm. That would be torture. It would. Our purpose is to be and to experience, and their purpose is the same. To be permanent is to cease. To be paused is to be trapped. As a clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Are you starting to see? Nothing is immutable. 
Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Alright, sounds good to me. have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry, Slay the Princess. I can't let that happen. I can't let anything, everything die. I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? <laughs> I was like, actually, actually, I don't know what we're doing right now. Can we just leave? <laughs> it's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you, what do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Oh, okay. It's kind of nice. All right. Sure. Why not? Why not? Why, why not? Why not? It's like the ending to. It, sorry, it's like the ending to Elden Ring. Sure. Why not? I never wanted to fight you, actually. So how how do we leave? Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Is it- is it marriage? Free yourself. You fall into yourself. Oh. <laughs> oh no. No, wait, 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 no! No, we're gonna get sent to the back rooms! We're gonna no clip. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles, you push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. I love you. She said the- Oh! Oh! <laughs> do we- Chat, 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 do we love her too? Chat. Chat, 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 do we love her too? You did it! You protected her smile! We did it! Oh my god, you're right! Guys, we're in. Guys, we're in. Of course, of course. Okay, okay. So, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest. I don't 100% understand what's going on right now in the story. And I feel like you guys aren't quite understanding her either. I think you guys are pretty much the same boat as me. If evil, why pretty? <laughs> if evil, why pretty? <laughs> <laughs> if evil, why pretty? Whoa! <laughs> if evil, why so many hands to hold? You're right. She, she, be, she. You know this wife would give the best hugs ever. Take her hand. Oh, nice. <gasps> my god. Oh, rather, my goddess. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. What the hell? Colors? Fractals? You are free and she is with you. Is that grass growing? It's magnificent. It's the color of my eyes! Oh my god. Wow, she, she she made a universe based on the color of my eyes. Beautiful. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. So what happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. 
You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. So now her pronoun, she, is, is capitalized. There are no endings, only beginnings. Created by Tony Howard, Aris and Abby Howard. Written and designed by Tony Howard, artist, director, music composer, Princess Nicole Goodnight. Hey! A celebrity in chat. The voices in your head, Jonathan Sims. Instrumentals, whoa. Amelia Jones, Danza Pula, Scotty Wells. <laughs> Cat! And Snake and Axolotl. Special thanks to Manly Badass Hero. Let's go. Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's a track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Track order? Interesting. I wonder what that means. Explore, join the Discord, explore, join our mailing list, explore, join the subreddit, explore, follow us somewhere else, explore, make your own playlist, explore, play our other game. What if I click that? Oh. Scarlet Hollow. Okay. Interesting, alright. Okay, very interesting. Make your playlist. Follow us somewhere, what if I click follow somewhere else? Oh, it, it brings us to their website. Okay, cool. <laughs> Join our mailing list. Uh, main menu, main menu. Interesting. Very interesting. So... Huh. Hmm. It, it makes me wonder... It makes me wonder... Goodness gracious. Why is she still stuck here, though? Why is she still stuck here, though? I... Did we... Did we really win? Maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Is that is I I know it's just the main menu, but I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like there's something still calling out out to it. I wonder if it's one of those where you have to do every single thing, like see every 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 single ending to get somewhere. The mother town says, "Don't be done. Thanks for playing this inter interesting game today. So happy that you to see you full of energy. Please take care. Thank you so much, Samantha. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy that we were able to play this, and we were able to see the credits. We were able to get through every, uh, well, not everything, 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 but we were able to get through a good portion of it. So you know, once again, I think Slay the Princess is a really fun game." Uh, never really had a story like this ever, where it definitely did a great job of playing with my expectations, and it broke... Uh, yeah, 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 so, so, so it breaks expectations, it, it, yeah. <laughs> Voltaire Belmont says, this makes me realize my vocabulary is really small. <laughs> Okay. Can I click? No. Um, I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it it really did. It really did break expectations. Um. Shout out to Nicole who chilled with us in chat and uh, gave a little bit of extra perspective into the game. Really cool. Really, really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I implore you guys to check out the game yourselves to see if there is going to be... I mean, to see if you guys hit other endings. 
and stuff. I think Fuchan is still playing this game, actually. Let's see, if I... If I set us to raid, is Fuchan still playing? Let's see. Yeah, 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 I think Fuchan's still playing. So we're gonna... So when we raid Fuchan, make sure, make sure, please, make sure, please, to not spoil anything for Fuchan or the Confidants. Um, I know that he hates spoilers. Lucian says, These are the types of games that I absolutely love. Thanks for playing this video. 10 out of 10 would rub my brain cells again. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely was really, really, really fun. Um, oh. Let's see, we have one from Yukiko-chan that says, Oh, Tsubio, I'm glad that your headache seems to have subsided. The princess's expression was so scary that I wasn't surprised. I'm gonna go to bed soon, but what should I do if the princess appears in my dreams? In that case, should I say Nekopara? Yeah, Yukiko-chan, if you say Nekopara, things are just gonna get really funny. Probably. Hmm. <laughs> if you say Nekopara, there's a higher chance of me somehow appearing in your dreams and helping you out. Probably. <laughs> Thank you. Be you in Yukiko-chan stands for. I hope that you enjoy today. SW says, Onspio, thank you for today's stream. That was such a fun and interesting game. Glad to hear that you're doing so much better too. I'm going on, on a perfume oil workshop later on. Would you do the honors of naming the oil blend? Oh! Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay, alright, so I'm gonna make something. I'll, I'll think of one that stands for SW. And um, it's going to... Ah, uh, hmm. Let, 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 let's make it after Slay the Princess. So, either... Hmm. So, SW. Slay the world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, SW. Appreciate it. Ray says, happy six months. Pio Otsu. Thank you, Ray. Otsu, Otsu. Happy jacket. Okamiyula says, Otspio, thank you for the fun stream and I hope you rest well. Thank you, Okamiyula. Yeah, um, there's a chance though that you'll see me later. Bin says, time flies. It really does. I can't believe it's almost been five hours. Five hours? Oh my god. I, actually, maybe, maybe not. I didn't think that this game would, uh, I, I didn't think that the stream would be a really long one. Um, so let's take a look at the schedule. Ian says, finally got the cool jacket. Thanks for always being a bright part of my day, Pio. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Deans. Amira! Thank you, Amira! Arigato, 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 arigato! The A in Amira stands for airplane. Because, wow, the air that we breathed on that different plane of existence was really different. <laughs> Appreciate you, I'm in it for 20. Dope view jumps and membership gifts to psychics all around the world. And Hal says, Happy two months, Pio. Thank you for the good stream as usual. Glad that you had a good time. So today is Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? It's Thursday. And um, so yesterday we were supposed to play Slay the Princess, but we moved it to Thursday. Um, I'll see if we can still do a Dope After Dark and play Swallow the Sea. Swallow the Sea is pretty much a really short game, so there's a high chance that we will. Friday we'll be finishing Meg's Monster. Uh, Saturday morning is World of Horror. Uh, and then I think Saturday night, Sunday morning is Meliko's birthday. And then Sunday night we'll do Magenta Day Part 2. So our horror week is still going strong. And I hope that you'll have a lot more fun where this came from. Let's see, let's see. Ren Hyper Fixate says, Let's be up and feeling down by watching your stream makes me feel happier. Thank you, Sidekicks. Thank you and Sidekicks for the good vibes. Yo, isn't that right? Sidekicks have insanely awesome vibes. Um, and I feel that's even more true now than ever before since you guys cheered me on and, you know, just really, 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 uh, helped me feel much better about having a headache. And, uh, it's, I don't know, I feel... You know, my, my head, my head felt really heavy and full, but now my heart does, so it's really awesome. Thank you guys, really, really, really. Hongsi says, thank you! Thank you so much, Hongsi. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you a lot. The Agent Hongsi stands for, I uh, hope you had a good time today. <laughs> Luvian with five, don't be on job site, membership gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Luvian. Once again, Luvian. Thank you. The L stands for, lucky. Because I'm lucky to have an awesome chat like you. Alright. 
Uh, glad you're feeling better? Yeah, it really, really, really uh, made me feel guilty that I couldn't stream yesterday. But, you know, uh, I had a really, I had a restful and pretty good night last night. Uh, chilling with my friends. And, um, you know, just, just recovering. And... I don't know. I, I feel I feel so much more energized for the rest of the day. Even if I'm hungry now, I think that uh you know, I'll I'll be really energetic even if I had to, you know, just keep streaming to, like on and on and on and on and on. I feel like such a big energy in my heart that it's really powerful. So thank you guys. Um yeah. <laughs> I hope that I hope my words make sense. Sometimes Maybe all of the time. When I speak, I don't really think about what I'm going to say before I speak. So, when it comes out, I hope that it comes out coherent. Um, lunch. I don't really know what I'm going to have for lunch. Maybe I might just order since it's getting kind of late. Uh, anyway, uh, big week ahead. And probably even bigger week next week. I'm, I'm like holding my tongue. Okay, uh, bye bye. Let's go read Fuchan. Okay, we'll go read Fuchan. Uh, remember, no spoilers, no spoilers in Fuchan's chat. No spoilers in Fuchan's chat. Okay. Okay. Let's see things from Fuchan's perspective. Let's see. Okay, voice of Dopio. <laughs> Alright, well, well, voice of Dopio. Let's see things from Fujian's perspective. Alright, bye bye See you s Oh, yeah, yeah, thumbnail, 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 yeah, th thumbnail, thumbnail, you're right, you're on thumbnail, 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 wait, 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 okay. We have three amazing thumbnails, three amazing thumbnails, three amazing thumbnails. We have one thumbnail from... Sorry, we have to say thank you to the artists. Yes, yeah, 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 okay, okay, good. So this art was from at Dradilkara. Thank you so much, Dradilkara. Um, as you can see, Dopio, me, became the princess, and we can see all the dynamic expressions that the princess had in a Dopio sense. Really awesome, really cool. Thank you so much for emulating the art, the art of the game's art in such an awesome way. You did an amazing job, Jadal Kra. 100% impeccable work. Amazing, amazing, amazing work. I mean, just, 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 just look at even the wild ones. Man. It's the, that's like the beast ending. I don't, I feel like there's so many more that we haven't seen. I haven't seen anything with tentacles. Not a single thing with tentacles. Huh. Really makes me wonder how much more there is in the game. Next one is from at SusieArt83. At SusieArt83. Who, oh, who this this was the picture that we just saw when the when when the when the screen flickered. But uh, you know, there's a there's a dopio right here. <laughs> there's a hmm. There's a dopio holding his head. I think he's trying to contain all the voices in his head from uh from leaking out. Oh hey! Otsukare sa! Oyasumi, thank you so much, Ray! <laughs> the R in Ray. Re, no, rest well. Thank you so much, Ray. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Arigato. Yeah, so once again, amazing work to SusieArt83 for this thumbnail. Last one we have for today is from at Shudder, J3654. J3654. Uh, so they drew the princess and Dodopio, the hero, in a ve in in their style that was very reminiscent of the game style, which is really cool. Which is really cool. I love seeing what happens when people try mixing their styles together. I always think that it comes out really amazing, and this one did come out really amazing. And we get to see what the hero Dopio looks like. The only colors in this world are the red from the blood and the infiniteness of my eyes. Amazing work, amazing work, amazing work. And thank you for 
putting a face to the faceless. Once again, thank you so much, Shudder. Alright, now! We're all ready. Our hearts are full. Our brains are satiated. Our spirits are awakened. So let's go rub it in Fuchan's face. Boys of Dopey, let's go see things from Fuchan's perspective. Bye bye, everyone. See you either later or tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. It depends on how the rest of recording work goes today. Oh, Meow says, I'm glad to be a part of this community and to be here with Scythex and you. Thank you for always working hard. I'm glad you're feeling better, Fuchan. Thank you, Meow. It's, uh,. It's really awesome. When I when I when I recover from a sickness, I feel like I'm not just a hero for myself, but for you guys too. So it feels really nice. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs>